Hello, hello, danger noodles. Don't worry, my big partner, well, not romantic partner, but a uh, partner who will be joining me in this game will be coming in a bit later. So for now, it's just me and you, danger noodles. What the hell? Why is there no sound? Oh, wait a minute. I forgot, I'm using my broken headphones. <laughs> We're gonna ignore that. Just so relaxing. This helicopter is going to be a bitch to clean. did they do? Is that the helicopter's penis?
Hmm. Just got to keep on cleaning. <laughs> oh yeah, I clean those soup things. Again, what the fuck did they go through? They have this much dirt on a goddamn helicopter. Oh, hey, Hatchet. Oh, well. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing well. By the way, they can hear you. I'm not sure if you care about that or not. No, I figured. Yeah, <laughs> oh, let me see. Happy June 19th, by the way. Happy June, oh yeah, 19th. I saw something at work. Wasn't this the day um, African Americans were freed or something? Yeah, it's, it's the holiday commemorating the end of slavery. That's what Juneteenth is. Gotcha. Okay, so we'll be doing stuff uh, through, like, my jobs, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm just working on my own story mode thing. Yeah. What? Well, I'm waiting for you. Yeah, valid. I'm gonna wait until my stream can hear it, but I, I've i got a hell of a story to tell you. Ow. That's not the biggest thing, but... Does it involve penises? Involved. No. <laughs> Gods, I hope not. It has to do with one of my cats. Oh god, I didn't know it was that! <laughs> That sounds really bad now. 
Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Uh, so, do we want to do Tomb Raider or Midgar? Um, honestly, we just finished with Tomb Raider recently. Oh, yeah, true. Alright, we can do Midgar. Cosplay. the code. Oh, okay. Uh, where'd you put the code? I... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I thought I was in our DMs and I fucking sent it to a different friend. <laughs> the bridge has got random numbers and letters. No letters, just numbers. Ah, uh, that's, that's so funny though. Doesn't look like they're online, so no big harm. <laughs> they're gonna be confused later though. Well, I just deleted it. Okay, going to go uh, to gameplay on my end. All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, Bright's blasting me. Oh. Actually, I'm blasting your ass. Okay, Jesus Christ, I need to turn... I need to turn some of this stuff down, it looks like. Bright, speak real quick. Penises in my butthole. Uh. Sounding. <laughs> well, you shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, I actually, one of my real life friends didn't even know what sounding was. And oh boy, was it fun teaching them. <laughs> uh. <laughs> anyway, anyway, um. Happy Juneteenth, everybody. Another washing Wednesday. Yada, yada, yada. But let's clean things. 
Yes. It was a day they were set free. But with restrictions because of Jim Crow laws. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. That was a really bad joke. It's, anyway. it's accurate but awful. Anyway. Immediately got messages. Oh, really? You got, immediately got messages? Yeah. I'm not gonna pay attention to them, though. I mean, I already read them before. Yeah. Oh my god, every single li like... What are these? Every single ramming spike on the front of this bike... Uh-huh. ...is its own object. Yep. Ito is the most annoying one. Have fun with that one. Didn't you say there was gonna you were gonna say a story? Oh yeah. Well first I'll say Hey Robin. Face the news. Very delicious by the way. Ye. Um So I did tell this story to Robin uh in detail. And I told you the bare basics. But let me tell y'all the story about uh, why my sleep schedule got fucked up last night. So, uh, I'm playing a game. Uh, and it's coming to be, you know, around uh, 4 a.m. So I'm thinking I should probably finish up this last bit and get to bed and my cat Yomangunda shows up and kind of indicates that he wants affection right mm -hmm. well because I'm focusing on my game I don't give him any affection because I just want to finish what I'm doing and then go to bed uh, so Gunther proceeds to spite piss on my bed three feet away from me. Right then and there. <laughs> so he fucking pisses on my bed, and I'm left to have to keep myself awake until I can clean it and after my parents get up. Bulgers. E. Nice. Oh, so hello, Robin. I see you pop up. Yeah, I think Robin tends to hang out in both of our chats. Yeah, Robin was excited for the, the stream I'm doing tomorrow. Oh, what are you doing tomorrow? The horror story stuff. With Discord server. Oh, right. Basically, as long as you're in the server, you can read it, a horror story that doesn't break TOS. I will immediately kick you out. If you start reading something that bad. Right. Yeah, I'd normally want to join in on that, but I've got that whole wanting to hard focus on getting my average viewer rate up. It's fair. Hope you have fun though. Mm-hmm. I just gotta think about uh creepy store uh what type of horror stories I should read. Bro my chat says wait, how does that work? Anyone can read a horror story? Yeah, if you're if you're in the server, uh you can join DC and read a horror story. Um if it's, like, obviously, if it's not your own, it needs to be properly credited. Yeah, you just send me the credit stuff. That way, I, when it gets put on YouTube, they get credited. But, uh, otherwise, yeah, it's literally, you can just read a story. Or you can request someone else to read it if mm -hmm. you don't want to read. You know what? Uh, entertain the streams for a moment, Hatchet. 
I'm gonna do a tweet right now. Oh. Uh, is this a good or bad thing? I'm just asking what for, for, uh, group passes I should read on stream tomorrow. Ah. Uh, gotcha. I can read Mortuary Elementary. Oh, is that that one story you had mentioned? Uh, in DMs, Robin? I mean, as long as it doesn't break TOS, it's all good. That's all I care about. <laughs> I never joined VCs without absolute explicit That's fair. permissions. And yeah. Yeah, very, very, very scary story. It seems Bright will be the judge of that. So yeah, I will not be joining in on that. Probably not, at least. It, it depends on how I'm feeling tomorrow. That's fair. Yeah, let's see if anyone will actually respond to it. Yeah. Granted, uh, there's actually one thing. I would read SCP horror stories. Except, um, the thing about SCP horror stories is they tend to have no chill. They tend to have what? No chill. Like, they will get extremely graphic. I mean, do we have to remind what, what they found in the factory? <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> so, like, as much as I would love to read them, I have to be so fucking careful. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't mean that they're bad stories, it's just that you gotta be very careful when reading them on YouTube or Twitch. Oh yeah, speak, speaking of uh, reading SCPs, um, a couple of weeks ago, I found out that uh, the Vulcan uh, admitted to being dyslexic. Why did you phrase that as if, like, they were coming out for having done something awful? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They, they... We, we have gained the admission that <laughs> the well-known... SCP reader, the Vulgan, uh, they're dyslexic. Why, why would, why would, like, the way that you said that had me thinking, oh, great, we've got another public figure in the SCP community turning out to be a Cree. No, I'm sorry. It's, it's a lot of work on how you phrase things, right? I'm sorry. But yeah, I, 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 I was actually kind of surprised when I found that out. Like, when they admitted it. Yeah. Don't say admit it either, because that, like, like, y you could just say that they mentioned, like, they they said that they're dyslexic. Yeah. When you say admitted it, 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 it again implies something illicit. Yeah. They have confessed to their brains struggling to read sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And they've also uh, said on, on tw uh, Twitter as well that they... It, no one gets mad at him for this. But he gets so sad on, on, on Twitter saying that he can't put out some videos because of it. Or other reasons. Here? You're cutting out a whole bunch. Well, I had to come in and out because Opera was downloading something for some reason. Anyways, um, like I was saying, uh, he, the Vulgan was getting sad on, on Twitter because 
some of his videos were getting delayed because, you know, uh, of his dyslexia. And, um, is that actually what it's called? What? Dyslexia? Yeah, that's what it's called. Oh, okay. I always only heard it as dyslexic or something like that. I never, I only figured it's what it's called. I just came the, Well, <laughs> be, like, dyslexic is the term for, like, having it. But, like, the condition itself is dyslexia. Yeah, as well as some other things. But, like, like, mm -hmm. like, think about how, uh, it, like, the na will you stop? <laughs> the actual name of uh, the condition is asthma, but when we talk about people that have asthma, we might say that they are asthmatic. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like, he, he gets sound on Twitter when, when a video gets late or something, no one gets mad at him. They're like, they don't yeah. care, just give it when we can. But when he can, no one gets mad at him. He, he's very sincere from what I see on Twitter. Yeah. Which is probably why he's the most liked SCP YouTuber on Twitch. Uh, on that Twitch YouTube. Twitch. I don't know yeah. why I said Twitch. I don't think he even has Robin. Twitch. <laughs> Robin in my chat says, here's an excerpt of the story. The child died. And soon after, the entire room started to transform and rot and decay, starting from the burner. In starting from that burner, encompassing the entire school, it seemed like all the years of it rotting and decaying since the 1940s in Russian lab. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, why am I lagging? Yeah. Okay. Is everything on the bike clean? Yeah, I forgot. I can just do this. And make the thing glow. You forgot how to fucking use the dirt detector? Oh, yep. Bike is fully clean. It's underneath this white thing. Over here. Oh, yeah. I... Oh. Oh, yeah. I remember this being really annoying when I was doing this thing. Yeah, it's in the back. The back wheel part thing. Axle, or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, it's the real, re rear wheel mount. Why did I struggle saying that? I had to Rear... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> rear, 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 rear. Rear, real mount. Let's see. The cab panel. Cab would uh, be up front. Oh, uh, this door window has something on it. I don't know. Door window clean. Where's the cab panel? I'm looking for that. I'm not seeing anything glow. Well, I mean, at this point, it's going to be very tiny. Oh, hey. it's the back part. It's this area. Oh, it's this area. Oh. Ye. Ye, Robin. Oh, oh, got it. Yeah, that was what I was working on. It dinged. 
uh, hauler wheels. Which one? Oh, it's this one. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, that means we have to clean the robot's hatchet. Oh. <laughs> Why did I do this? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it just takes me to mine, which I did. Yeah. I had to wait for you. <laughs> I definitely need to write more of it, though. Yeah, fair, Robin. Okay. Continue. Oh, yeah, so you go ahead and do it. Uh, I have to go get Buster. I'll be back. Oh, great. So I'm starting this alone. Headset off for a second. Alrighty. Okay. I think I'm going to start by getting up onto the main body of this thing. Bringing from there downward. This thing is an absolute pain in the ass. Spray the top of a big old tank to clean it up of to clean it of all its gunk. Oh god damn it! I fell down. Come on, the tank head moves. Yeah. The scanner. That's a pain in the ass. Thing will move randomly while you're trying to clean it. The antenna, yeah, the antenna is its own thing. Because this game likes torturing people. Fucking bots. Why can we not just tell this thing to stop moving? Stop! Oh my gods, I hate this thing. Yeah. 
Do I I'm back. The bright return? Yep, they are. Hello. Hey. So, uh, do you remember why I I uh, what one of the things I said when I raided you? Vaguely. Uh, why I had to go to bed early? No, I do not remember that. I had my depression. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was hit- it was hitting hard yesterday. And I really shouldn't have streamed. Yeah. But... Um... I felt a bit better, cause I had daily dose of Busta Vitamins. You ate Busta's vitamins? No. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I met you, dick. Yes, yes, I do know what, uh, what you meant. No shit. Yeah. Did you expect me not to be a smartass? Nope. Don't you just love cleaning this? I'm gonna burn you alive. <laughs> You're the one who chose it. It's not that I chose it. It's the next thing in line. It's either this or go, like, give up on Midgar. Yeah. Oh yeah. Have I talked about how there, there were some people who didn't stay long at my work believe that I wouldn't make a good parent? I don't think so. Would you like to know their reasoning? For sure. Alright, so basically we were on the discussion of uh, what we would do with family if uh, we won, like, say, a hundred million dollars. Okay. Right? Yeah. They were talking about, oh, they would spoil their family and whatnot. I was like, I was like, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind going on one vacation with the money with them or something like that. But I would probably try to, to at least save 85 to 90 percent of it and put it in savings in case uh, yeah, of, yeah in case of emergencies that's or anything pretty reasonable. yeah and when they were also talking about uh for their kids and whatnot they were saying they would get their kids whatever they wanted and stuff like that and i was and give them super high uh allowances I was telling them, uh, I would still give them the same allowance I was, which was five to eight dollars for doing work, but doing chores, not like being outside rough, doing rough housework, kind of like maybe taking out trash or something. I, I know what you mean. Yeah. And he said that I, that I was doing child abuse. My reason is, is I don't want my children to be spoiled. I want to teach them that nothing in life is easy to be get got. You have to work for it. Yeah. I, I think a part of it is like, um, at the very least in terms of my reasoning, is, um... There needs to be a certain amount of mutual respect involved. 
Yeah. Like, it's extremely easy given the way that uh, a good number of people grow up to immediately uh, jump right back into the old adage of treating kids as if they're property. Yeah. Like, there'd have to be respect and communication. And, like, I, I think a part of it would be, ideally, to basically frame it as negotiating a shared space. Like, if you're sharing space with someone, you're probably going to, like, barring extenuating circumstances, need to be taking on part of the responsibility of maintaining that space, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, my head is freaking killing me. I want to talk to whichever game developer thought, hey, let's put this giant fucking uh, mech scorpion tank thing in Power Wash Simulator. Yeah. You know, there is one thing I that I I don't see coming to Power Wash Simulator because it would probably get too graphic. But it would be kind of cool, and it would be a uh, dead space. Oh, that could be interesting. Yeah. It would, like, at the very least, make more sense. Yeah. Okay, but then, now I gotta pull the headache. But then too. again, yeah. these developers are gonna have to talk to EA about it. <laughs> yeah. And I don't blame them if they don't want to speak with EA. Fucking EA. Hey, you're getting the tap. That's what I've been doing this whole time. What did you think I was doing? Well, it makes more sense. Uh, you're a top and I'm a bottom. Silence. <laughs> I basically ignore them because I just feel like I'm more in the right in that type of situation. Because the way yeah. they're they're going about it, they're gonna lose that money very quickly. Yeah. Plus, the other reason I want to save it up is because college ain't fucking cheap. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure a lot of that million dollars is going to go straight to college. Head casing. Now, I do believe that the people benefiting the most from colleges being so expensive is people giving out student loans. <laughs> oh, yeah, no shit. <laughs> colleges in the U.S. are treated more like businesses than actual institutions intended to uplift people. Yeah, I forgot, but aren't there, like, multiple countries where college is free? The majority of quote-unquote developed countries have, like, taxpayer-supported colleges. A lot of them still have, like, you need to pay for certain things, but they're at significantly diminished costs. 
Yeah. Way cheaper than American adventures. <laughs> yeah. And it's like a lot of the most successful Western countries do have just entirely free college, like the Nordic states. Yeah. Well, not free because it's still being paid for by taxes, but you know what I mean. Yeah. And you know, it kind of logically makes sense. Like, why do we have this uh, arbitrary stopgap of, uh, you know, uh, K through 12 is 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 taxpayer supported, but arguably the most important section of a person's student career that's what we don't pay for despite the obvious benefits to society at large by making uh, education easier and more affordable to ex access mm -hmm. I think that was one of the things Joe Biden was talking about wanting to do, which was make college free, <laughs> in a sense. Yeah, it's just another... I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's another on the long list of shit that he didn't... ...fucking... ...uh, come through on. Closest thing he did was literally the most insignificant imaginable debt relief for student loans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's actually one thing I should say on stream uh, right now. If you guys are ever thinking of, of renting an apartment in my state, it's probably best you choose another one. Because, if you're wondering why, because a bunch of in the past, a bunch of landlords got in the office, and you can already tell it where this is going. Mm. They have more rights than they should. Meaning they can actually, in my state, you can actually be kicked out of the house in less than 30 days. Oh, that's, uh... Yeah. Also, there's this one thing. I'm I'm just questioning as to why. Um, these are I believe these were the Republicans that decided this. Don't quote me on it. <laughs> but um, they took a dump that was closed because they weren't. It wasn't doing anything, it was too much trash. Covered it with a thin layer of dirt and put it as a park for children to play in. It's called Mount Trashmore Park. <laughs> Your silence. <laughs> okay. I just woke up. <laughs> I woke up like, like close to an hour ago. Yeah. What the, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, it doesn't have a high rating on uh, Google Maps. Is because people have found a uh, metal pipe sticking out of the ground because it was a thin layer of dirt, not like. Well, yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kids. You want to come play in our trash dump? <laughs> I'm sure it's safe. Just don't dig at all or do kid activities in it. <laughs> but the thing is, they named it Mount Trashmore. <laughs> <sighs> There's seriously something just rotten going on in Virginia. Yeah, that's actually what I've I've seen. Like, you know the political maps? You can see like who's been mostly in power in your state and whatnot? Like over yeah. the years? 
Y you know what I mean by that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of the past, except when it got in the 2000s area, uh, Republicans had most of the power. Oh, sorry, were you using that? Oh, no, I was just using it to get up here. So, that could explain oh, yeah. some things. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, I fucking hate this thing. Why the fuck do they need to make so many parts of this fucking tank constantly wiggle and move around? <laughs> So yeah, in my state, there's like a bunch of laws protecting uh, landlords as well as Mount Trash. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I can't get over Mount Trash more. <laughs> like, no, not like get rid of the trash in a more better way. That. That doesn't endanger the environment. No, let's make it a fucking park. <laughs> Listen, if we're gonna have trash, and we're gonna if we if we're gonna have trash in our society, it's best to have all the children roll around in it. What is that fucking? What what's my reasoning there? Is this just an incoherent rambling of a half half awake? Yeah. And his parents basement? Yes. Yes it is. We're gonna throw all the children into the trash. What the fuck? Yeah. Now I did see that there were some things in that uh, laws being trying to be passing up pass for landlords to like kick anyone out, even if they have a service animal, you know? Yeah. Federal government went, no. <laughs> they were denied every time they tried passing it for that state because it was deemed illegal by federal law for them to pass it. Yeah. Which, I mean, is fair. And thankfully it hasn't because that means... If I do have to rent an apartment, uh, I got protection for Busta. So we I'm back. I tried. wanted to grab myself a tea. You're fine, Robin. Now, there's one thing I'm kind of wondering is why only in the 2000s did every majority of my state switch to being Democrat? <laughs> like, what happened? I mean... That's the sort of thing where it's going to take, like, th that would probably take a lot of analysis to figure out. Yeah. It is odd, though. A, s a simple answer might be, uh... For one reason or another, they started limiting or not doing any gerrymandering. Yeah. Or they were sick of landlords being landlords. <laughs> Sleepy timer. Tea with chamomile. Go cap and. Valerian. Valerian? Whoa. Ugh. My hair. I guess 
sun going down. I'm not the weirdest law in my state, seeing how you have multiple regulations for semi-automatic weapons, but you you don't have to have a permit for a fucking cannon from the Civil War. <laughs> Oh, again, I imagine the cannon would be considered an antique. I mean, yeah. But still, that is funny. Just like... <laughs> you just mount a, a, a fully functional cannon in front of your front yard. <laughs> it ain't illegal. <laughs> oh. We spray. We spray so much. To spray. Or not to spray. Oh. That is the question. Tis nobler to wash by hand or by big machine. Hey, at least you're not doing it by yourself. I just would not do this by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I can kind of appreciate this game, and I've played it on my own a couple times, but no, that I would never do this by myself. Or this job. Yeah. Oh yeah, there was actually one thing that I wanted to see actually would exist in the supermarket market simulator and oh my god I didn't think it would exist it was so fucked and I felt so bad um basically I decided I was gonna lose money like a chunk of money by keeping the guy on you know the cashier yeah so I decided before I hit end day to where I would have to pay him, I thought I would still have to pay him if I fired him before the end of the day. But he, the king never took money for me to pay the guy. So I went through the entire day having him work, fired him, and he never got paid. I felt so bad. All right, so everyone, this is a wonderful example of why even petite bourgeoisie tend to be god awful. <laughs> oh my god! That, okay, hatch that one. Uh, mentioning the bourgeoisie, it reminds me of one uh, Twitch clip where where you mention it, and I go like. Bourgeois who? <laughs> you you in a dirt of broke laughing because I was so confused. <laughs> yeah. Oh motherfucker. Bourgeois who? <laughs> Isn't bourgeoisie a tanky term and a Christian uh, I never, like, bourgeoisie is just a practical term used to describe the capitalist class. Like, yeah. originally, I believe, primarily sourced from Marxist literature, but, like, it's, it's not specifically tanky. And, uh, petite bourgeoisie refers to 
like the bourgeoisie at large is the capitalist class, the class of people that make money simply off of owning stuff. The petite bourgeoisie basically refers to small business owners that likely still engage in some amount of work for their little enterprise, but commonly have a lot of the same tendencies as the bourgeoisie at large. Yeah. It's it's actually why I've it, speaking of which was it, it's actually kind of why I've been starting to watch more history stuff on YouTube because I've realized even though I took multiple world history classes there's a lot of shit they did not teach me that they should have well yeah of course you, you grew up in the states <laughs> yeah yeah um one of the things was I was never taught what I forgot what country but what a uh, country that went to South Amer Africa and did its shit down there I was never taught about the horrors that happened uh, South Africa so I think that'd be the British Empire yeah I was never taught that and dear god <laughs> <laughs> I prefer peasant and nobility, to be honest. Do you disapprove of left wing populism? Not particularly. Alright, I claim the deck wheel. Robin does mention South Africa kicked their ass, though. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that's uh one thing uh with the Aztecs, Incans, and Mayans. Uh, in world history, they just said, "Yeah, people came over and conquered them." That's all you need to know. I did. I actually had to yeah. look up on Google what fully happened. And yeah, that there's a there was a lot of things. Let's get test of that actually. Yeah. I, wasn't it like the Aztecs who believe? I I might be mixing them up, but it wasn't the Aztecs who believe when I think it was the Spanish who came over they, that they the guy was the god or whatever that they were worshiping or something like that. To my knowledge, that was like a largely. A uh, fabricated colonialist idea ah. that didn't have much basis in reality. Right. I do like remember that they did use smallpox on them. <laughs> I think it was the Aztecs. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh. Well, huh? Um, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, basically, um, a large part of what made colonization so easy for Europe wasn't purposeful, technically, uh, biological warfare, but it comes out to that, being the fact that, um, in most cases, uh, Europeans did not purposely spread smallpox. Uh, but that did happen. We like, ha I think we have like two or three written accounts that do uh, show that like some groups of colonists did purposely spread the smallpox. But yeah. a large part of it is just the fact that uh, native peoples weren't like didn't have any built up in, uh, immunity or resistance to smallpox so when smallpox was brought over it just fucking devastated their populations yeah not it like a lot of the times to my knowledge not even entirely uh like a purposeful thing it was literally just 
the the result of them having never been encountering that extremely virulent disease before. Of course, I am also pulling on my flawed U.S. education, so there is a good chance that I don't know much. Yeah. So. Yeah, but it, it's, it is so fucked that, like, the, the American education, like, I see, like, in European countries, they learn this shit. They learn ev almost everything else horrible. America... Nah, we're just gonna teach you a little bit of horrible. Yeah. Like, I kid you not. The only reason I know what happened to concentration camps was because I was told about them in my family. They didn't want to talk about it in school. Because apparently, it would be too insensitive to people there. <laughs> uh. So yeah, that's the only reason I know. I've had it. If Americans knew all of it, everyone would be anarchists. Well, probably not everyone being anarchists, but there'd definitely be a lot more progressive movement. Oh uh, yeah. Hi, Hatchet. Hi. Yeah, that's actually why when uh, you, Cheery, or Derna start talking about history stuff, I just shut the fuck up. I'm not sure if you noticed. Well, yeah. It's because it's usually I was not taught it, even though I should have. So usually I just shut the fuck up and listen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's valid. Yeah, because I've noticed, like, with some other people who teach me uh, history stuff, they're like, why the fuck are you not talking it with it, like, right? talking as well? It's because I'm trying to learn. <laughs> I don't want to be rude. <laughs> yeah, because I was always taught, like, if I talk when someone's trying to teach me something, I'm just being rude. So I just shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, that's not entirely uh reasonable, but yeah, it's it's understandable. Yeah. Can I steal that? Oh, oh sure. Wait, Where do you need it? Uh, just set it here. Right here. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> As I'm, I'm spraying down the hands. Yeah, there was actually two things I was not taught in school, even I didn't learn about in world, uh, world History 1, even though the time periods were in World History 1, but we didn't talk about them, which was the uh, Ottoman Empire and the Byzantine Empire. I think I'm saying their names right. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I was never taught about either empire. Huh. I was never given an actual reason, too. Maybe they thought it's just less important. Maybe. But I, I believe any form of history is important. I mean, yeah. Obviously. Oh, you're done with the last step stool? Yeah, I realized it wasn't helping me as much as I thought it would. Ah. Go ahead and use it. I was going to use it because I can jump up to here. Get the legs. Oh. 
God, I don't need this. Get the ladder there. <laughs> I think an, uh, an, another thing that wasn't taught much was uh, everything the British Empire had. Like, I think I was only, they only talked about, uh, was the stuff they had in North America and Australia. And now is it. Nothing else. I'm, and I learned later, they owned way more. Well, yeah, the British Empire at its peak was... Like the the empire in history that had the largest total amount of land. Yeah. Didn't like the Roman Empire come close, or am I remembering wrong? I think the Roman Empire was like a close second, but yeah. I could be misremembering. The Roman Empire at one time had basically everything that touched. The Mediterranean, as well as a large swath of Europe. Yeah. Then I think I believe one of the reasons they fell was because they didn't have enough people to completely rule over everything. Like one of the most like textbook yeah. reasons for a empire to fall is spreading itself too thin, so yeah. Yeah. I think the other reason uh, was having really crazy leaders. <laughs> yeah. Like, one who put a horse in government, one who forged oh, their, their own country. Oh, I thought you were talking about the British. No! Not Rome. Yeah! <laughs> the British put force the government. <laughs> they were also horrific in their prime, crime punishments, yeah. Hey, Bright, as the Christian here, would you like to describe to us some of uh, the Romans' penal uh, execution methods? Uh... Oh, yeah, with crucifying? Yeah. Yes, oh my god, would you... <laughs> did you not... Could, like, did you just not... figure that... No, I did. ...out until then? Uh... I was... I was thinking about other Roman punishments when you said that. <laughs> Where does Rome and the Britain kings begin? <laughs> but then I was like, oh, wait a minute, you mean the crucifying? <laughs> then I, I was thinking, what? Wait, the Christians wouldn't throw people to the lions. Then I was like, wait a minute, they kind of would, but the, I think it was many crucifying I talked about. <laughs> oh, yes, I was mostly speaking of the crucifying, but I mean, a lot of that really fucked shit continued in even the Christianized Rome. Yeah. Also, I will say the Ottoman Empire ran way longer than I thought it would. No, I mean, yeah, like, I think it was one of the longest lasting empires in human history. Yeah. Didn't it last yeah, to, like, World War II area? World era? War I. World War One. got it. I mixed them up. Yeah. And then it, it, it started was, failing. <laughs> well, it had already, like, been on the decline. World War One was just the bullet that put it out of its misery. Yeah. Rome was a bit better before its forced Christianization. Yeah. Did this do it on that kill, Casey? There is one thing that I kind of wish the Romans didn't do. 
which I think is, they did this, which was burn down a library of Alexandria. That is less the Romans specifically and more the okay. Christians. Ah, the Christians, yeah. I kind of wish they hadn't. Well, yeah. It was like one of the most blatant examples of cultural genocide of the time. I suppose oh, like... wait, I shouldn't... Huh? Oh, wait. I'm on your channel. I probably shouldn't say the big G word. You don't like having that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah, though. That did not happen on purpose, as far as I know. Oh, no. Like, um, if I remember correctly, uh, Saint uh, Cyril is, like, literally purposefully burnt down the library of alexandria because it was a massive uh it, it was a massive treasure trove of pagan knowledge yeah as well as some other theorized knowledge such as uh the formula to greek fire for one it's actually theorized it was in that library. Yeah. But we don't know, because it was burnt down. There is still one thing I don't also, fully believe what, about what they believe. One of the things they believe is an ingredient to Greek fire, which is petroleum. Because during its era... Petroleum was impossible. Oh, let's see. Robin says also that library had little actual knowledge in it. Sorry to burst the bubble, but the only poems and writing, but only oh, poems and writing have other You writing are the inventor saying it was so random. Ah. I mean, that's still pretty, like, that can be pretty significant knowledge, Robin. Like, that still acts as, like, a massive conglomeration of information. Yeah. But, yeah. That's actually one of the reasons but why... I, I, oh, sorry. But I get what you mean, Robin. But yeah, go ahead. That's... I, I, even though they say it's most like an ingredient, I still don't see how it would be physically possible for petroleum... Which couldn't be gotten in the era to be an ingredient, the Greek fire. Well, that's one of those things where I'm just like, I, I just don't want to touch that. Yeah, that's fair. Because I just don't know jack shit. I had to do a project on it. Like, it was the only ingredient they believe could be it. That would not make sense in its era. Like, other ingredients could be gotten. It just... Petroleum couldn't. Here in Chile, some rural communities will celebrate one saint. The day in which a saint with your name is celebrated. And in some places, it's even more important than the birthday. I'm worshipped? <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> Wait, there was actually a saint named Bright? Seriously, there was no pagan writings in there. No formulas either. They took most of the important shit from other libraries. Nothing that important. Like... It's... Um, generation. It's general, you are not specific, you are. Oh. June, huh. it's a general your, not a specific your. So I'm guessing no. <laughs> oh, the fucking hand. Mm. 
I just realized we've gotten to 99%. Yeah. They wouldn't put pagan writings in that. It was mostly just an academic mostly just academic BS scrolls and scrolls of writers writing about other writing I mean yeah but that like that has like real like e even like ex examples like that that would be incredibly valuable knowledge from what I've I forgot which character I like cartoon care that said this, but like any knowledge is valuable knowledge. I forgot what cartoon character said that, but I kind of see it as true. Like, maybe this is just my Norse heathen perspective, but literally any like conglomeration of knowledge that can give a better understanding of a people group's like overall cultural zeitgeist is valuable in studying like especially like gods and spiritual practices of the time because you know like that that perspective specifically being from the fact that have next to nothing uh written down about a lot of norse stuff Oh, yeah. To the point where a lot, like, literally some of our major clues as to how pagan practices operated are from laws illegalizing stuff. Wait, speaking of Norse thing, I forgot. Hatchet, most of the Norse and Viking stuff that you talk about, uh, as well as knowledge I know about that stuff, came from you. School, My school didn't teach us about Vikings. Well, should say Norse, because... Oh, Norse, Vikings, right. Like, Norse culture. Yeah, Norse culture. We weren't taught that. Yeah. Even though, didn't, like, a bunch of the days of our week get named after Norse stuff? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tuesday is Tears Day. Wednesday is uh, Woden's Day or Odin's Day. Thursday is Thor's day. Uh, Friday is Frigg's day. And I, th if I remember correctly, Sunday, Monday, or Saturday, Sunday, and Monday are all named after either Roman or Greek gods. Wow. But yeah, like four days, four days of the week are named after Norse deities. Hence why Robin commonly says Happy Freak's Day and Happy Thor's Day. Right. On said specific days. Wait, is everything in the hands done? I think it is. I think it is. I, I hard focused on the hands there for a bit. Yeah, cause that's like the most annoying shit. <laughs> Wait, oh my gosh. The second you started washing the hands for just a little bit, the robot's head turned and looked at you. <laughs> eh. <laughs> just like, what the fuck you think you're doing? <laughs> oh yeah, that reminds me. Happy Woden's Day. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Oh, yeah. There's actually one thing I, I find f a bit uh, funny a little bit is how there's a bunch I forgot their names, but there's a there's these some of these uh, atheist um, uh, scientists who refuse to use BCE and CE because it was the Christians who, the Catholic Christians who made the calendar. That was their reason. So they still use BC and AD. Eh. 
That's one of those things where it's like, I. Blah. Yeah. And also, wait, cri wait, hold up. They claim that Christians made the calendar. Like the Catholic, I, it was, I think they said it was like the Catholic Church who created like the BC and AD thing. I believe so, yeah. Yeah. So wait, I right. clarify. What are you trying to say? Like they are rejecting the use of BC and AD in favor of BC no, and CE. They they rather use BC and AD and not BCE and CE. I yeah. Okay. <laughs> the the main reason I want to get what's why I started. I think it was funny because the the Christian scientists that are discussing this were against using BC and AD and they wanted to use BC and, and CE. <laughs> so many, yeah, the, like, <laughs> the the entire the entire point of yeah. like shifting towards BCE and CE is to make it largely more accessible and less, like, Christian-focused, which is kind of useful when we're talking about fucking, yeah. uh, history. Because we have a, you know, we have this, like, wonderful little habit, uh, here in the West to try to frame literally all histories around Christianity, and it's kind of good for us to pull away from that. The idea mm. that there was just one library in the whole of the ancient world is clearly absurd. And as the mentions of other rival libraries above have already made clear, there were, of course, hundreds of libraries, great and small, across the ancient world. Well, yeah, obviously. It's just like the burning of the Library of Alexandria was like a massive, big example of oh, yeah. like trying to snuff out certain information well not even certain information trying to fuck over such thing to my knowledge i will again clarify this is not one of those sections of history that i'm the most learned in headlines It's the, it was you. Got it. Got one shoulder. Not what I was looking for. Ancient world. Oh yeah, no, I wasn't, like, I don't intend to, like, make off as if, like, the Library of Alexandria was, like, the, the single most, like, uh, like, held all of the knowledge of the ancient world. It just seems like a pre like, bleh. Yeah. It's like one of the largest libraries, so it's burning is significant. Is what I'm meaning. Barrel vents. Oh, where are the barrel vents again? I'm looking at Mark 98 cannon rear. It's on the right arm. Right over here. The sauce. Oh wait, weren't there vents around the hand area? Oh shit. Uh, ah, right there. Oh, you got it. I got it before you. Fuck you. But anyways, yeah. There should be cannon somewhere. On this arm. 
barrel guns. Yep, destroy that. <laughs> Never say that in my chat again. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Robin just said, yep, spray that tank a C. Oh my god. You are free to say that in my chat anytime. It will make oh. me laugh. Wait, how did you get its hand open? Oh, hi. <laughs> you just moved me. Oh, 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 Jesus! <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> you launched me in the air! <laughs> oh, did that actually launch you? Yeah, all of a sudden, I was just about to fall, then I could just get shot up. Oh, I found it! I found it! Oh, you found it? Hell Got yeah! It. <laughs> oh, it's that tiny little bullshit. Okay. Yeah. Need to do... That, but there's that. All right, playing the recap. That felt a little less insufferable, just because, uh, we didn't do that right at the end of a stream. What's going on now? All right. Uh, I'm saying that, like, this job didn't feel as insufferable as last time because we didn't do right at a, do it right at the end of a stream. Oh, uh, yeah, we should have done Mipha's bar. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, 7th Heaven, is this that bar? I don't know. I call cleaning the sword. I mean, I was gonna immediately start cleaning an object around the floor, then the floor. So, I mean, go ahead. <laughs> I clean the gigantic and practical bullshit sword. Weren't there, like, actual swords in real life that are insanely impractical and hard to use i mean some of them yeah but like most of the time they were decorative ah. the the closest thing to cloud's buster sword that would have existed in reality would be an executioner's sword and it's like a highly specific weapon like literally just designed to be a big heavy sharp object that's used to very quickly take someone's head off like it was not designed for combat and it would have been awful in combat i actually had no idea executioners had swords i knew about yeah, there was... huh yeah there saying? were some types of executioner swords i i mean i knew about like the with uh battle axes and the guillotine i never heard about swords yeah there is, like, a variety of different times that uh, executioner swords were a thing. Oh, that's interesting. It's still said that I learned more about history Just from big, you. Big swords with, uh... Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I was saying, it's still kind of sad I learned more history from you than I do at school. <laughs> I keep saying Man. that, but it is so sad. I mean, to be fair, uh, of all of the knowledge that could, like, most important to impart on people, I feel like the intricacies of medieval uh, weaponry and execution methods are probably one of the lesser ones. <laughs> yeah. There actually was one thing that I, that I do know, which is like, I forget which one, but I know when one Star Wars movie was made and shown was the last time a guillotine was used. Yeah, 73. 1973 was the last time someone was executed via guillotine. 
which means we actually have a video footage of Spooky Team somewhere being used. Well, I don't know if it would have actually been recorded being used. It might have been. People are weird. Like, at a time, um, guillotine usage was not a public execution. Not like in movies. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, France stopped doing public executions, I think, in the 20s? Don't quote me on that. Gotcha. <laughs> If it was the last time, then maybe. I mean, yeah, but, like, I, I'm just, like, maybe they did, like, record it, but something tells me that uh, they would keep recordings out of an execution chamber while it's actually being done. Robin asked me to clean the pinball machine so that they can play pinball. I found the images, no video though. Yeah. Right? Yeah, hold on. Oh, fuck. I have... what, are, what are you doing? We actually do have a, a, a bunch of creatine videos being used. Like actual authentic yeah. It footage. Yeah, I think it, it it last when I looked at it, it says like ninety six videos. Mm. But no, we do have recordings. It, though the last time it was used, it was not recorded. So it you are right about that. It wasn't used the last time. <laughs> It will be the last time until we be a team. Sausage finger, pony King Charles. So yeah, no, we actually do have evidence of someone's head getting cut off. <laughs> I mean, not evidence, like you know, recording. Evidence. <laughs> yeah, I we don't have know why evidence, it's evidence of someone's head getting cut off. <laughs> I know. I know that it may be a stretch to believe that someone's head has been cut off, but we actually have historical documentation of such an occurrence. I don't know why I said evidence. <laughs> why did my mind go to evidence? But yeah. I mean, I'm not going to go watch it, because it's not disturbing for me, but it's just like, why would I want to? <laughs> I would, uh, Robin, I would specify, like, offenders. But, yeah. I mean, I've I already talked about the most fucked up something. thing I've seen. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I've, I've already told you it. And I think you never wanted to be reminded again. I don't... Oh, wait, yeah. The forklift, okay. The what? Oh, I thought you were talking about the forklift. Uh, no. I was talking about what I saw on Reddit 5050. Uh oh. It's way worse. If Robin says they want to hear about it in chat, I'll say it. No. Well, no, I'm saying specifically offenders. Because two of those things that you mentioned are, like, literal just states of being. 
rather than actually, like, having caused any harm. Yeah. Hey, actually, you want to sit at this table? Look, I'm at my actual height at the table. Sure. <laughs> Oh, this is an awkward position. <laughs> Wait, how is... Hello. Hello. <laughs> how small do I look like at this table? <laughs> I mean... look pretty scrunched up. Because in my view, only my head is above the table. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I mean, you've got your knee, like, resting, like, on your chin. <laughs> Close to it. Yeah, whatever. Let's get back to work. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like uh, Ro Robin doesn't want to know what I saw in Reddit 50-50, which is probably a good thing. Like, two of those things you said, Robin, are, like, just what some people's brains do, rather than actually having caused harm. Yeah. The bigger thing is talking about harm. Yeah. There's that shit... There... Now I remember, because of Giving's, I'm still curious as how that chicken with its head cut off, was able to survive for so long. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to look into that again. Yeah, it's so confusing and bizarre. I know that Henry's, like, kind of a local, like, well, not local legend, but a legend here in Colorado. Because yeah. that was actually Colorado that happened. It's the Messiah chicken, that's what it was. I'm kidding. <laughs> Messiah? Messiah you chicken. Messiah? Yeah. Okay. It was the chicken sent from God. <laughs> Look, I can get away with saying this because I'm Christian. <laughs> Didn't get much better reception than Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I still love it how when I talk to another Christian about my beliefs, I just piss them off and I just love seeing them get so mad at me. I just get, like, a goofy grin. Because the main value to get mad at me is uh, pushing beliefs on others. I believe I shouldn't do that unless they want it. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus! I hit tab! God damn it! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, God damn it! I did it again! <laughs> I instinctively hit it. Thanks, you blinded beast. It's fine. Yeah. I kind of wish more Christians were like me and more accepting to other religions and not just like, let's get rid of all of them. <laughs> yeah. But unfortunately. Christianity is only as big as it is now because of certain things. Yeah. It's, it's kind of also the main reason why Hi, Chew. It's also kind of the main reason uh, why I quit 
going on these church retreats where I would go and entertain children as this weird superhero thing. I still remember it. It was yeah. like, it was Balloon Man at first, but then I went to Balloon Sheriff, the, the, <laughs> the heroic savior balloons. <laughs> I just went there to like entertain. Wait, what? What's happening? Um. Oh God. <laughs> What's going on? I got stuck in between these two bar stools right here, Hatchet, and I got launched onto the table. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I stopped going there because they kept. Pushing the one belief that I did not like. No. Robin Mice chat says that just makes Bright a good Christian if other Christians yell at them for not forcing their religion down other people's throats. They need to do what Jesus taught judge not, lest oh my you God, be judged. Yeah, and books has helped me barstool. I'm stuck. <laughs> but yeah, like the other thing that <laughs> helped me step stool. I'm stuck. I just said bookworm said help me barstool. I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah, barstool, not step stool. Oh, idiot. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the other thing that made me stop going to those places, even though I love entertaining the kids, is, um, the leaders were very Catholic. Yeah. You can already guess what I mean by that. Hell, like, one of the rules was you cannot have any form of romantic relationship when at the camp. If you are boyfriend and girlfriend going there, you can't be boyfriend and girlfriend there. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I don't even know what type of Christian belief that is. <laughs> It's the Christian belief of no fun allowed. <laughs> Only Jesus, and Jesus don't like fun. <laughs> Purity culture belief. Yeah. Christians entirely ignore their own religion, so they can force their moral absolutism down the other others throats judging anything not explicitly like them they will just call them a sin thank the god they left that only so, within person even then you must know what to do then no talking about it fun actually he literally turned water to wine yeah <laughs> Yeah, there was actually one year I went to, it was my last year actually, and the band they brought in, like, yeah, the, the, the most, only one person in the group, I would say, had talent, but the fucking lead singer was off note for every fucking song. Eh. <laughs> uh. Every one. Oh my god. I just hard to make my sleep that hard. Well, wasn't like Hitler good with heart? Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, wasn't Hitler good at heart? Go to your get bright, bright into the corner. In, no, 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 bright, bright. Stop cleaning. Stop cleaning. Into the corner now. You th you think about what you've done. I'm sorry. I turn water.
water and the wine, but don't drink that stuff. Motherfucker wasn't accepted into art school. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he, like, he was, oh my god, he was literally rejected from art school. There, there's, like, literally a meme about, like, uh, like, someone looking incredibly concerned when they hear that someone, uh, was rejected from art school and went into politics. Oh. Because actually, it's painting I was for ass. I was actually taught at my school that he had good art and he went to art school. No. No, he was rejected. His paintings, like, were... Like, uh, his paintings were basically on the surface. Like, if you don't know jack shit about art, uh, passable. But the second you start to look closer at details, they just make no goddamn sense. She was getting yelled, how, in my chat. Like, taught it? Or just mentioned it ironically? No, we actually had to learn it for the SOL. If anyone here knows what SOL is. I do not know what SOL is. Uh, think of an exam, but some, but if you pass it, you don't have to take the exam, like at the end of the year. So, like final test of the year, basically. So it's it's so it's an exam to get out of the exam. Yes. <laughs> Gods, I love the U.S. education system. <laughs> no. <laughs> If he wasn't rejected, that would change the world. An exam yeah. with false information on it. Is that even surprising, Bookworm? <laughs> it's America we're talking about. This is America. Specifically, Virginia. I don't. It's just my state who believes in that. But yeah, I I'm sorry for mentioning that. I honestly was taught the opposite, and that's my bad. Well, I mean, quite literally, uh, Arguably, that's not your bad, it's your, uh, bro broken school's bad, but also, yeah. uh, fuck you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, but, um... Oh, I'll have to look at that video later, Robin. Yeah, uh, let's see. interesting. I've been watching a lot of alt history stuff, except... Not real alt history, it's alt timeline theories about Lord of the Rings. Oh my god! But I'm watching a lot. I, I remember one thing that's gonna, like, oh my god. This is gonna make Hatch shit. Loses shit. <laughs> I forgot my last time I went at the camp, they make us watch these videos every year and it's different. Uh, that helps us teach more about God and what, and all that shit. I kid you not, they took Star Wars. And the Force was replaced with Holy Spirit. And lightsabers were replaced with God's radiance. <laughs> Being pushed out of the metal. <laughs> and you, and the, and the Jedis had to spread the Christianity. <laughs> Against the the Sith who are, well, atheists. <laughs> That's what happened. That was the those were the videos we had to watch. <laughs> hmm. Wait, what happened? Hmm. <laughs> you I know kicked. what? I got kicked. Oh, you got kicked. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, my internet did a little jumble. It should still be the same code, I think. Honestly, that's actually funny. <laughs> Christianity would absolutely be the same. 
You see, that's the thing. I actually personally do not mind that that much because the entire fucking point of the prequels mm. is showing how the dogma and foolishness of the Jedi was in no small part a contributing factor to the rise of the Sith. E. Oh wait, Bookworm got something about the Hitler art thing. Okay, apparently the art critic doesn't too look at Hitler's art, and apparently said it wasn't that bad. This guy didn't know it was Hitler's apparently, so maybe your school looked at that. But he did get rejected from our school, so I don't know how that could be skipped in your school. <laughs> Okay, let me send... Uh, yeah. Brad, are you ready for me to say code? Yeah, he can send me the code. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I thought you would lose your shit with the Star Wars thing. No, I'm I'm actually... Uh, it's, it's, tr it's fucking cringe as fuck. <laughs> but... I mean, I'm... I'm less offended by it because I actually understand the context of the fact that the Jedi were a, a fucking corrupt, dogmatic, self-important organization that quite literally needed to fall for balance in the galaxy to be restored. Yeah. Uh, also, before I come in, um, if you actually get stabbed by God's radiance, you become Christian. You actually don't die or get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> there were multiple people now, stabbed <laughs> now granted to be clear saying that the Jedi needed to fall is not the same thing as saying that Sidious was in any way shape or form a force for good <laughs> the Jedi needed to fall but they fell in what is absolutely the worst possible way for the galaxy yeah. Thing is balanced in Star Wars, which is sad. I mean, yeah. The Star Wars tends to be a like logically Star Wars like depicting a conflict, which is like a pretty natural part of depicting a story, also means that we're basically always going to be seeing some amount of imbalance in the force. Because, uh, well, balance, oh, my brain, my brain's dying. And I mean, even then, actually come to think of it, I, I think, I think I'm overstepping because arguably they're like, the force operates based upon the conceit that there will always be conflict between the light and the dark. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, give me a sec. Yeah. And I'm back. It's also brought to you by, by me doing a simple Google search to see how easy it would have been for you to look that up on your own. Fuck off.
There we go. Yeah, I wait for Hatchy to get back to say something else that they they did the next year that I didn't see. The second that it stops spraying it, it cleans. Okay, I'm not gonna question that. All right, then start on the floor. Oh, you're back. Uh, yeah. Uh. I, uh, you good? My dad has to go to the hospital. Jesus, you okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, he's been having some really bizarre gut troubles all day, and it's getting to the point where they're having to get him over there. Uh, are, are you still gonna be okay to keep going? Yeah. Like, freaking. I. I don't know. I, like, don't push yourself, cause this is really bad. I, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. That's the thing, if I, uh, I'm concerned that if I don't stick to doing something that keeps my mind occupied, I'm just going to start panicking. So, I'm, I'm sure he'll gonna, be fine. Yeah. Thanks, Robin. Yeah. We're, we're here for you, bud. Yeah, um... Yeah. No. What I was gonna tell you before you left, um... You know how they made a Star Wars... Christian thing? Yeah. Uh, I didn't go to the, the the year after because I didn't want to keep doing, you know, stuff that went against me personally. They did a Lord of the Rings with Moses. Uh. <laughs> Come on. It's nothing sacred. <laughs> What does that even mean? Lord of the Rings with Moses? What the fuck does that mean? Uh, I don't know everything, but apparently... They... They put... Uh, what, everything that Moses had to do in the setting of Lord of the Rings... World. How the fuck would that even work? <laughs> I don't know! Uh... Oh, Jesus. I mean, granted, I say they love stealing shit. I mean, granted, like there's more claim to Lord of the Rings, 
for Christians, I guess, because Tolkien himself was like a relatively progressive Catholic. So obviously his Catholicism impacted and affected Lord of the Rings and its setup. But mm -hmm. he was also like staunchly opposed um, to his works being viewed as allegory or uh, as analogies to anything. So, like, I, I have a sneaking suspicion he would also be quite peeved with that. Oh, most likely. Though, uh, apparently the year afterwards, they... I don't know the full thing, but apparently it got immediately stopped. And you can already... You can already guess why, after I say what they try to do. Apparently, they try to do... A Pokemon one. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Nintendo's gonna be fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be in the medium, like, oh. like they're talking about, like, hey, we're gonna use Pokemon, but for the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and we're like, the fuck you are. <laughs> Pokemon, go to church. <laughs> <laughs> Report them to Nintendo just to fuck them over. I think they did because they couldn't make it. Because <laughs> I think Nintendo did find out. Christians, leave fantasy alone. Stop twisting everything into being their mythology. EPAF. Like, you don't see Buddhists twisting Star Wars to be a story about Boot. Buddhists. <laughs> OG Pokemon. <laughs> Are they so lazy that they can't come up with their own ideas? Probably. Yes. Yes, the, the okay, answer is yes. Fire Red Emblem has gifted a sub to Mui underscore Chu. Thank you, Bookworm. And also, Zanju says... Christamon. 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 <laughs> that probably would have been what it was yeah. called. Like you could have at l like you could at least like make like a spoof of Pokemon, but like or like Pokemon or like just Mon games in general that is like Christian. Like you could at least try to do something slightly original. Yeah, but going after the one thing that's most protected by Nintendo, or one of the things, because there's. Mario and it's Legend of Zelda, Zelda. Yeah. yeah. You went after one of those big three. What the fuck do you think was gonna happen? Questions are as interesting as saltine cracker with zero salt but a scoop of lard. It protects literally everything seriously. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of like with Gary's mod, they had to pull, I think, almost every Nintendo thing. Because Nintendo was going to sue them. Also, the other chat I'm watching... Is spammed for the rich. I <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, like. Oh yeah. I, there, there's one thing that I remember being screamed and yelled at for like two hours. It was on my last day, and apparently this, the one of the leaders came by saying like, "Look, eight of these kids want to be Christians." And I was like, "Can I speak to them before we do the Christian thing and whatever? Talk to them." I literally explained to them, "Hey, look." If you feel pressured in becoming a Christian, don't do it. 
if you wish to be one, that's cool. Stick in here, that's fine. But if you wish to go, go right out that door. It was a back door that the leader didn't know about. So they could just leave oh. without them knowing. Yeah, it went from 8 to 2. Uh. I got yelled at for two hours. Say, saying that I just got six kids sent straight to hell. And I believe you have to do really horrible things to be sent down there. Like, I think it's difficult to be sent down to hell. Well, that's even... Well, that's even if hell actually could it does exist because technically in the bible it's not really talked about yeah so it, it there's a possibility it doesn't even exist i would say if hell exists like assuming that the christian god is a benevolent deity if hell exists it is not eternal yeah yeah i i started thinking about it the more you talked about it uh, when you talked about that hat shit because I thought the opposite, but the more I thought about it, and the more I read from the Bible, I was like, that actually makes more sense than my thinking. <laughs> nah. That was a physical place in the Middle East. What, Robin? Can Chew be sent to hell? Oh my god, Chew. Get still a first class ticket to hell. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, I think you have to be have to do the most horrible shit. Like, if you just steal once in your life, you're not going to get sent to hell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, not it's got to be, like, something really fucking bad. You see, that's the thing, Robin. My, my perspective is along the lines of um... Understanding. Okay. See you that, later, Chew. Sorry. Uh, what's, what's the best way to put it? I would argue that if, like, assuming the Christian God is benevolent, then they are the single most misunderstood deity by their own followers. That was never meant to be afterlife. Guilt trip. The word for hell was actually translation. Yeah, it makes sense, Chew. Uh, not Chew. Hatchy. God damn it. <laughs> I called Hatchy Chew. Was that the case? I thought that, like, specifically, like, the actual term hell itself was uh, pulled from Dante's Divine Inferno because he was heavily inspired by Norse mythology. Oh, I thought you were about to talk about the Bible. I was saying, like, the actual one. That wasn't really mentioned. Well, yeah. Well, the one that we know. Because we act, because the, the Bible has been translated so many times that we don't know everything in the Bible we have today is 100% accurate. Well, yeah. The most accurate versions tend to also be the versions that are conspicuously least used by conservative Christians. Yeah. I've actually looked at almost every version of the Bible. None of them replaced uh, man on man from man on boy, you know, the P word being bad. None of them. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, why? <laughs> the word that was used in the Bible, from what I'm aware of, came from a specific place. Uh, okay. So, like, speaking from, like, within the Bible. Gotcha. Read your damn damn plus... What, no, I was following up my message. Yeah, read your damn business. That business, take care of what... No, I was following up my message. Wait, what? Uh... That's where all the fun stuff is. Plus, I have business to take care of. Oh, I thought you were leaving. No, you're just talking about you wanted to go to hell. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chew. 
spit you. Like the OG. Aramaic. Or whatever it was written in. Gotcha. Oh yeah, there was actually this one thing where I got for instead of helping kids, I got forced in the construction thing. And I also got yelled at for two hours again because there was this old gay couple who had trouble building a desk, um, a drawer, and a fridge. No one would help them because they deemed homosexuality a sin. Yeah, I built all three of those things myself. Nice. All three of them. Nice. I got yelled at because I'm just spreading sin around, and I'm like, fuck off. What the fuck does that even... Is it a sin to build furniture? <laughs> no, it, it was a sin to help gays. And I'm like, that goes against the... Literally one of God's biggest rules is to be kind to your neighbor. Neighbor doesn't I... just mean someone living next to you. It means literally everyone. But that's literally, I think, that's the most biggest thing I see not being followed by Christians. Is be kind to your neighbor. Well, yeah. I mean, I follow it. Until you don't. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're a person who... For memes, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Who's like, real piece of shit. <laughs> then I'm not gonna be kind, all that kind to you. <laughs> oh, no, I, I'm just meaning, like... Uh, oh. You're kind to your neighbor and, until, until you're not, like, in terms of, like, memes. Like, ah. jokes. Gotcha. Because we're very jokingly toxic with each other. Yeah. It's kind of sad that there are very few Christians who follow God's rules. Uh, fellas, is it gay to help build someone's furniture? She refuses to be kind. It physically hurts me. Yeah, that, that's fair, too. Wait a minute, you are kind. You helped me with the botting situation. That's a kind thing to do. You didn't have to do it. So bullshit. <laughs> I still don't get why picking up equipment makes anyone who's crouching stand up. Same. I don't understand it either. I just see you jump in the air. <laughs> but yeah, I... The only reason I enjoyed going to those camps was I was I was able to spread joy in others. It's kind of why the only reason I actually stream right now or make videos is because I like making people laugh and be happy when they're around me. That's just me. That's my personality. There's no burning associated with any of these three rules. Yeah, I, I, I get you. I get you. This is so damn mushy. Well, then go fuck yourself, Chew. I'm sorry. Dude, what? <laughs> what the fuck's going on? I tried to chew. You never know someone's intentions is so damaged. She was getting mad that I was being not mad, but basically put in chat that I was being too mushy with talking right now. And I, I just told Chu to go fuck themselves.
<laughs> Skill issue too. So fuck. <laughs> wait. Wait. I'm not flexible enough, so fuck you. Skill issue too. Says fuck. <laughs> But yeah, it, I, if the camp changes their views on things, then I would go again. It's just that I, I couldn't take it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think it was my... Uh, second year going there, I actually did end up getting a black eye. What? Oh, easy, because uh, I was guarding uh, one of the gay kids that went there. Because we didn't know it was, they didn't know it was going to be very Catholic. Um. Yeah, and someone threw a frozen uh, Sprite can hit me in the face but I mean I didn't care because they didn't get hurt right what's some advice on those people before I head out to set up my stream uh sure go ahead you and hope your stream goes well right hatchet yeah. I was trying to spray a wall lantern that was already clean. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> In Israel, bold, all the pagan altars and idols were broken down and burned in the valley of Hidron, which was uh, contiguous with the valley of Hinnom. Don't deal with those people any further. If they were truly willing to listen, they would have never been there saying or de doing these things. You literally can't talk to people who aren't even listening. That's fair. Yeah. Therefore, in Gehenna, the simple things are burned up. Yeah. Hey, ch hey, hey, Gar. How you doing? Thank you. No, no, maybe, maybe Twitch will recognize the fact that I have at least three people watching my stream. Good, been working on lots of projects. Valid. Well, it says two viewers. Because for whatever reason, I think sh my stream just never counts book. I, I don't I don't know if it's because book has like lots of streams open or whatever, but uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, bright. <laughs> I you reminded me to by speaking about that to to put your stream up. I've been meaning to do that yeah. whenever you stream. Yeah. Happy to be here. Thanks, Gar. Yeah. A lot of my more recent streams have been, like, very low viewership, which, again, like, that's the thing, is, like, I'm trying to avoid letting, like, the strive to get to affiliate affect me too much, but it's just, like... It's annoying. I, I hate, yeah, like, I, I hate how, like, my desire to get to affiliate and that need to get viewership up is just, like, making me feel so fucking disconnected from like the actual reason I started streaming which is having fun mm -hmm. uh, even though I'm focusing on your stream right now well and we have four now oh on oh is it saying it's at four on on your end book it still says two for me yeah it says four on my end oh hell yeah yay thank you thank you everybody Maybe, maybe, this works for me. Okay. Maybe if we can keep this up, this stream will 
uh, have a higher average view count than two. Yay. Uh, Any change of heart they or others like them have is insincere and purely for their own benefit. Yeah, uh, okay, that's fair. That's fair, Chew. It said four, now two, so throw them. What did Chew say? Uh, any change of heart they or others like them have is insincere and purely for their own benefit. Yeah. Yeah, the general rule of thumb is, uh, it, it's probably not this way 100% of the time, but general rule of thumb is, uh, someone's genuinely changed, they're going to get out of whatever system relies upon them having not changed, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, like, for example, the only good cop is a cop that left the force. Kind of idea. Like, if they've actually changed and have turned over a new leaf, they should probably be leaving uh, groups of centralized power that caused that harm. Yeah. Yay, now it says I'm at four viewers. Yay. Chu no longer believes in second chances or cha changes of heart. That phase of mine is done. Wait, isn't that, like... Are you just opposed to restorative justice then? Because that's like a pretty... That's like a pretty important element of restorative justice, is it not? People's ability to change and grow away from toxic behaviors and beliefs. What would you miss, God? Okay. I meant on personal level, not criminal justice system, and you cannot debate me down from that position, so don't waste your time. This wasn't me trying to debate. This was me just trying to get a better understanding of what you were meaning. Not everything has to be a debate. I was just curious. Now you know, says Chew. Are you cleaning the lantern? Yeah. I guess I'm just confused how, like, how does one separate broader restorative justice, but also hold to 
that sort of mentality. I don't know. Honestly, I just would have dropped it. Yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not in the headspace for this anyway. And that's fair. Just use your imagination, that's all I can tell you. Yeah, that actually makes me wonder. If Christians in his back in history were more accepting and less doing the bad, how much of history would be changed completely? Yeah. yeah, I get your point. Oh. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is off topic, so I think we should just leave this topic. But, um, I did, s I did talk about how legendary pictures. Uh, bought the rights to a couple kaiju monsters, including Destroya. I've talked about them to death. You're cutting out a shit ton. I really hate Discord. Anyways, like I, I was saying, talking about how uh, Legendary Pictures bought a bunch of kaijus, including Destroya, for movies in the future. Yeah. I've talked about that. As much as I would like to see Destroy again, I, I, I don't think Legendary Pictures would do them well. Uh. It's mainly because in all their movies so far with Godzilla, Godzilla always ends up beating the monster with some help with either humans or another kaiju. Destroy is created to not be beaten. Literally, the Destroyer was one of the biggest reasons Destroyer was created was be Godzilla's kryptonite. His big weakness. Mm. Cause like even in the comics when the whole like almost the entire island of Mo Kaiju went after him, Destroyer beat them all to the ground. So, I, I'm kind of afraid what they're going to do with him. Because if they just show him getting his ass kicked, I'm going to be pretty pissed. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's not the thing with him. And honestly, to be fair, Godzilla definitely deserves a kryptonite. Let's be fair on that. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I'm not saying this because I'm a simp for destroyer or anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just honestly don't think they'll. Handle destroy it well. Yeah. Oh. 
Sometimes I really hate how my brain operates. You're you right? Yeah. Just thinking, like, my brain gets so fixated on, like, certain things. Mm -hmm. Even though, like, I don't actually want to be thinking about them. Or, like, continue a conversation. Yeah. And my brain just keeps nagging at me about it. There we go. What happened? God damn it. Huh? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> My internet must have tripped again. Yeah. So yeah, just send the code whenever you're ready. Oh. Code sent. <laughs> Never mind. Hey. I kind of wish to, it just stuck to one code instead of, you know. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like every time that like my internet trips and does that it like takes me off of being in co-op mode gotcha so, so like i have to actually turn co-op mode back on so I, that's probably why the code is changing gotcha Yeah, this is a, Brit a British place because it's eggs and chips instead, <laughs> instead of fries. Oh no, maybe it's that, like actually literally talking about chips, like potato chips. I don't know. Not the British. <laughs> This is chill. Oh, to five viewers. Welcome in, everybody. Sorry, I'm not very high energy today. I'm sorry that I'm, I'm too high energy today. Because <laughs> usually I'm not, I'm like low maintenance on my streams, like not too chaotic. Kind of in a sense, usually this late, but for some reason, I'm just wired. No, it's 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 fine, Robin. If I want to end stream, I'll end stream. 
Oh, yeah. You're more upfront about that. You're more upfront about that than I am, because usually... Usually, I just, like, continue going, even when I shouldn't. And I definitely do do that at times, but... Uh, I do it very often. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I keep in mind a part of me is, like, I don't want to be alone with my thoughts right now. I think there's, like, some streams that I only just ended because I literally was about to fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. There we go. How is there still this much of the fridge being marked as dirty? I don't know. Honestly, now that I realize, I've done that more times than I probably should have. Like, just continue streaming even though I'm dead fucking tired. Yeah. Just why not stream tonight? I'm too tired and lazy and annoyed, so I'll just chill. <laughs> okay, Chew, you can stay with us if you like. Hope Chew is alright. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, actually, I think. Oh yeah, it was during the one of their Grand Theft Auto streams where where I was just like going, I was just not talking and just slowly leaning forward and bouncing back up. I didn't say anything oh, that yeah. I was real tight, but I think you figured it out and said we should probably just stop. <laughs> I think you yeah, were, figured it, it out. Yeah, it got pretty obvious at some point. <laughs> Yeah, if it wasn't for you for saying something, I probably would have kept going in the last. Yeah, re recently I've, like, had, like, two or three streams and short just because my sleep schedule gets fucked and I just am feeling dead tired yeah. in the middle of stream. Uh, yeah. I meant to tell you this, but yesterday Robin was talking about how the two uh, horror stories I put up that you voiced. Yeah. Yeah, they really liked it. Ah, uh, you. Yeah. yeah, I think I sent those to them. DMs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I stopped making those videos because, like. No, I'm not EP right now, Robin. Yeah. Yeah, but like I was saying, I don't know why I stopped making those videos because, like, they got good views and and people seem to enjoy them. Thoughts I still didn't listen to that last one. E. Then again, I don't like it. That's one thing I I also want to say. Um, I don't go back and listen to my, the only horror story I go back and listen is like the NES Godzilla one that I did on my channel. Because Momo is mainly speaking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know why, but I just, even with my new voice, I hate, absolutely hate rehearing it. 
don't I like... I feel like that's yeah. a pretty common thing. Yeah. But yeah, it's there. Yeah, but anyways, uh, before I start working on the ceiling, uh, I have to go pee. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> I'm not feeling particularly tired, I'm just low energy. I see that you. Anyways, I'm back. Yeah, there's. Also, when it comes to, like uh, doing those reading stuff, I also do get self-conscious when voice acting certain characters and stuff like that. Except when it came to NES Godzilla. I know I did really good, because I scared the living fuck out of Moma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they, they stopped narrating, because they weren't expecting me to pull it off that well. Yeah. But that's... Uh, I just had experience voice acting monsters and stuff like that, so it's probably why he was able to skin shit out of him. There is still one that I want to do, because we, we had to do we did like a bunch, oh sorry, and no, it was anyway, where a bunch of people came together to read uh -huh. NES Godzilla. Yeah. We still haven't done like the Ouroboros cycle. That story is yeah, really good. I saw that good. in my DMs a little bit ago. Yeah. That's mainly because a lot of people, some people were in there we fell off with. Oh, yeah. Wasn't Dragon in there? Yeah. Yeah. I know it's not yeah. going to happen anytime soon either. Yeah. And that's fine. Just further down the road, I, I would love that, that together. Alright, why do you seem to never fully clean sections of wall that you've, like, done the majority of? I was doing, like, the in-between these bars. The I was in-between these bars. This white stuff right here. That just sounds wrong. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, jaw cramp. Oh, that's awful. Rip gone. Why did I say gone? Rip Robin. Yeah. Yeah. I know I have a playlist of the, like, the, the stuff. Of the horror stories and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's how I actually... Went off and found my narrations. Uh, those stories. Yeah, I have no idea if I put any of Godzilla in that or not. I... I think? I think it was in there. Yeah, I will say any of Godzilla was the easiest to edit. Because it already had the pictures. To put up. Yeah, you didn't have to like decide on anything from like stock image catalogs and stuff. Yeah. I'm scared to yawn because if I do, I get cramped. I yawn all the time. Yeah, there's actually one thing I want to look into is the NES Godzilla sequel. Oh, there's a sequel to that? Yeah, there is. But I'm not sh I think it was still in the works. Like, they posted some chapters, but it wasn't fully done. Uh. I have to look into it, but yeah, NES Godzilla did, for a fact, have a sequel. But, as far as I'm aware, Red isn't the antagonist. As far as I'm aware from looking at it. Mm. Well, I mean, it makes sense. Like, this is a spoiler, but Red died. Uh. Well, you don't want NES Godzilla to pull a jigsaw? Pull, pull a Saw franchise and just always make Tobin Bell the antagonist no matter what. <laughs> oh my god. Actually, I've only you saw said... the, the first Saw movie, but I got bored. Yeah, the original Jigsaw has been dead since I think the fourth movie, and they just keep finding excuses to bring him in. Yeah. It didn't pull me in as much as, like, Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street did. Because even mm. though, like, they do have similar stuff going on, they add new stuff in to make it more horrifying or more creepy and stuff like that. Well, you know, to be fair, Saw, like, yeah. to a certain degree, like, the first Saw film was fully serious. Yeah. Uh, I think the second Saw film was, uh, equally as serious, but it was terribly put together. And yeah. by the time they made the third, it was just like, you know what, let's just make something fun rather than caring specifically about being super horrifying. Yeah. And I think that's what took it away from me. So I yeah. did see, like, glimpses of of the other movies, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Is this supposed to be horror? <laughs> no, I mean, it is fundamentally body horror. Yeah, but, but... It's, it's not like, oh, you're, I'm gonna scare you type horror. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna scare you type horror. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly not sure. <laughs> like, nothing like Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street where they use, like, maybe body horror or something like else to literally scare the living shit out of you. Well, yeah. That's what I meant. Mm. Yeah. It's still kind of sad that uh, the person who played Freddy Cougar is dead. 
I wasn't sure if you knew that. Well, I mean, that's the thing. I don't, I, I don't know much of anything about like older horror films. Yeah. So I just wouldn't know. Right. Well, let's let's hope. Uh, it would be very ironic if he died in his sleep, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would it? But Quarm. <laughs> <laughs> character he played caught up with him. But Quinn is busy patting Chew at the moment. Because they're barking. These damn pipes are so damn annoying. Wait, what was the question? How did the actor who played Freddy Krueger die? That sounds... I just found it now and now frantically googling. What the fuck did Robert Robert die? Was that his so name? Swish. But but yeah, he died a while ago. Wait, so you know that he's dead, but you don't even know his name? No. I forgot his name because I, I looked it up. Why? Wow, it showed up on a news feed a while ago. Oh. Yeah. I don't remember if you know my memory's terrible. True. <laughs> These pipes are gonna be the death of me. Yeah. Oh, I helped. Oh. Damn. In order to spray the top of the ceiling, I, I, I had to wash it some. Okay. I had a spray your pipe. Rob, Robin says Robert England is still alive. He is? The... Wait. Then it might have been something... I, it said something about Nightmare on Elm Street, someone had died. I feel like there's more people that played roles in Nightmare on Elm Street than just the guy who's played Freddy Krueger. True. I thought it was the guy who played Freddy Krueger. It might have been someone else that was integral to the story or something like that. Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp was not in... I Oh, wait, Bookworm says I see five hits for a guy who played Freddy Krueger. It could have been one of them. Uh. Like, one of them. It could have been. So, I guess there was multiple Freddy Kruegers. That's interesting. Huh. Johnny Depp was in the first nightmare. Huh. He was? I didn't know that. That doesn't seem like a movie he would be in, I think. Must have been, like, in one of his earlier roles, I imagine. Yeah. Wait, or is it just saying who wrote this specific entry? I'm getting confused. Bookworm's getting confused about Freddy Krueger. It was his first role, I think, yeah. It's kind of weird, your first role... Role was in that movie when you're doing a bunch of comedy stuff. Wait, then wasn't Johnny Depp like Jack Sparrow? I don't know, Bright. <laughs> was was D J did did Johnny Depp play Captain Jack Sparrow? <laughs> the probably one of the most well known Depp roles. <laughs> Which in my chat says has stroke. Robin says, okay, I looked through every actor who played Kruger. None of them are dead. So it's just a classic case of Bright accidentally spreading misinfo on stream. Well, 
Wasn't it a chick that died though? I don't know, what about Nicole Craig? Looking into him right now. Or Noble. Noble Craig, not Nicole Craig. You there, right? Yeah, hold on. Um, Now I found it out. The creator of Freddy Krueger died. As in, like, the director? Yes. Wes Craven. Or, like, Wes Craven. Uh, yeah, he died August 30th, 2015. There we go. I guess I can kind of see how you would fuck that up. Yeah. Wes Craven dying, says which? Oh no. Yeah, 2015. August 30th. I wonder how he died. Did he die in his sleep? He. August 30th, 2015, age 76, Craven died of a brain tumor at his home in Los Angeles. Damn. It does not say if what? it was in his sleep. Damn. Oh, Robin says the exact same thing right after you said it. Y'all are just dead. Y'all are just determining to upset me with death. Well, I, it's not like I'm taking part in this. It's just bright. <laughs> Fuck you. Wait, I actually got rid of rid of you on my Twitch mobile, and I can't find you. What the fuck? Damn. I have vanished. Never to be seen again. I found Bright you. Is death obsessed. Skill issue. So yeah. So it was the creator, Wes Craven. You a ghost? Yeah, I'm a ghost now. Right, I'm gonna haunt you. <laughs> My god. Either that or Gar. I'll haunt Gar. I mean, if you haunt me, you'll be kinky. Yeah, so never mind. <laughs> I don't want to have anything to do with Bright in that room, in that manner. Yeah. Raven is a cool ass surname. It is. Yeah. He was an icon of horror, honestly, in my opinion, says Digital Witch. That's fair. Yeah. So, yeah. He did die a while ago. It's probably why I got so confused. I think it was Freddy Krueger, because I, I ran it a while ago. Like, it's almost, almost ten years. Ow. What? Ow. 2015 was almost a decade ago. Yeah? That... I've just been shot. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm reacting to that information, Bray. <laughs> so no, I'm not. Shut up, shut up. I'm all... These are my favorite of all time. <laughs> Gar is having issues too. 
<laughs> Honestly, I don't care about it being almost a decade ago. Because if, if I was still in 2015, I would still be with my parents. Yeah. <laughs> You can already tell how great I, that is being gone. <laughs> yeah, you have Buster. She ran other chests before reasons. your own. Shut up, Bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you wash these? I've been trying to. They're being finicky. That's because there was dirt on the on the very top of it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That was that was a that was rapid fire. Yeah, because I was jumping and spraying the dirt on top. The best part it was I had typed that a minute or two ago. <laughs> Punish Bright for a betrayal. <laughs> Betrayed what? Here, Bright, let me show you a more efficient way to do that. I'm, I'm a petty bitch. Fuck you. Did it. She's an equals exercise. Fuck you. Now Hedge has to clean everything on their own. Great. What? I said great. Ah. Uh. Is your name the great Dr. Great? Yes. Okay, you need a new name. Yeah, anyways, uh, I have to have my headphones off doing exercises, otherwise, um, it's difficult. So, anyways, give me one moment. Otherwise, my ears turn into fluids. Do any exercises now. Backlight. Twenty. Backlight. Oh God! Why did I put push-ups? Why? Feeling <laughs> shaded ones. Okay. Fucking done exercising. Whew. So now Walden. Glad nothing weird was happening. Huh? I, I was just saying, glad that nothing weird was happening on my stream. Nothing different at all. Huh. Hey, you got it? It's got a... This beam... Fuck. I swear, if I end up cleaning on my own, that'd be funny as shit. Oh my god! Oh shit, <laughs> I was trying to... Oh, it was up underneath that little nook of... Okay. Yeah. It's funny as shit, you were... Okay, getting it, and I just come by, spray a little bit, and clean it. <laughs> uh. Sweet, it's something horny. Bookworm, 
I would never do anything, Lorny. Nothing at all. Oh my gosh, Chu did no cursing. I can't curse for another hour. All right, what's next? Hour? Yeah, they they chat changed it from thirty minutes to an hour. Oh damn! <laughs> no more horny for ten minutes. No fun allowed. Okay, in bed now. Cool, Robin. I think after this we got to do a robot again. Mm hmm. I'm going to start working on the outside. You're going to do the inside? What? I said I'm going to start working on the outside. You're going to do the inside? Outside of what? You mean just like the perimeter around here? Yeah, I was going to do the perimeter on the outside. Okay, then I'll work on the internal city bits. Tiny bitty. You need city. I'm guessing. It's the tiny city display. It's the thing you're working on, nothing else. Yeah, it's literally just the the tiny city display. Yeah. Imagine if we had to clean the actual city. Bruh. That would be hell. Festus. Hey, buddy. Is that the one who uh, took, took a shit on your bed? That piss and no, it was Gunder. I was going to do. Okay. Festus. Oh, I love you, buddy. Oh, wait. That's another two minutes because I said the S word. Festus. Sorry for the stationary screen chat. I just need a moment with my with my big orange. Take your time. Ow, don't poke my nipple. You're better in this. <laughs> oh yeah, you he's got no horny on. You can't. You could. You couldn't say anything, could you? <laughs> With my big orange, you get Trump over there. You got Trump over there? No. Trump is. I. I lay no claim to Trump. Festus is a big orange cat, as opposed to Peppy, who is a smaller orange cat. Pet the Festus. Yeah, I, uh, um, I decide, I, I made the decision that once I can do redeems, one of, like, the first thing I was gonna do is make redeems for all of the cats that tend to hop up on me, uh, where people in chat can pet my cats. Festus. Okay, buddy. I I need to I need to continue streaming. That just says now.
Betsy says my pets are more important. I think he's trying to get to my dinner plate to look at it. Oh no, now he's now he's doing that. <laughs> what is your affiliation with Trump? I will not comment on this. It's Festus time. There you go, Festus. There you go. I also he cannot discuss taking... what I want to do with Trump because it's TOS. I see. Festus <laughs> says your stream can wait. Oh, who's my big lad? Okay. It's so more calming in this one. I like how. I my fucking... Huh? Mm. I was gonna say I like how when we we're at the bar, we were talking about subjects that were like that were rather awful and everything. Then in here we're just we're just chill. The difference is Festus. All right, so how about we talk more about what happened? No, okay. No. <laughs> my Festus is on my lap. All things are well. I give him many pets. What would you do if Trump came into your room demanding scritches? Uh, I would try to get him convicted of another felony known as trespassing. Probably wouldn't succeed, considering the, the, the effort it would take, but... He would be trespassing. And like I said, uh, I can't say what I would do because it would be TOS. As well as it would break the Geneva Convention. Right. Yes. No. <laughs> right. Yes. You're already trespassing on engagements, man. Technically, though. Uh... Yeah. Now has chat ownership. What do you mean, Chew? I mean, what I wrote, but were you elected? You have to be elected democratically. That's how it works. I 
nice spray. Oh, not in this country. Is it? What do you mean? We have a voting system in America. A voting system that can be overruled. Our, our democracy is an absolute sham. It's kind of F though, yeah. It pays the majority rule. Yeah, also... I'm kind of wondering what would happen if every... If majority of the people who voted for pre next president just voted Mickey Mouse. Just what would happen? Yeah, like, you gotta keep in mind, right? Br Trump has never won by political by or not by a political, by popular vote. He was put in through the electoral office. Hillary won that election through the popular vote. Yeah. But because, or not electoral office, the electoral college, there we go. But because, you know, we have this fucking bizarre system in which everyone votes on the president, but for some reason that's not what determines who's the president. It's actually this fucking ethereal electoral college that decides who's president. Ugh. I just, I just want to see it at some point in my life that Mickey Mouse wins the electrical, electoral college. <laughs> like, what would well, they do? They, they just, they just, no. <laughs> the electoral college <laughs> is not going to vote for a fictional mouse. <laughs> I would love to see it happen, though. Yeah, true, Robin. Uh. Maybe if this team threw enough money their way. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. I mean, that is the biggest factor in how the Electoral College operates, so... Maybe if Disney just gave them enough money, they would elect Mickey Mouse. <laughs> then we'll be the only country in history to have a cartoon as president. <laughs> well, I mean, we already are that. Have you seen Trump? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, who is running for president uh, for the next election? Well, I mean, the like, Democratic and Republican tickets are basically guaranteed to be either Biden or Trump again. Oh, that's great. So we get to choose between old, doddering, out-of-touch fascist or more aggressively or uh, more aggressive and felon fascist. Oh, that's great. Don't you just love America? Yes. Didn't Kanye West say at one point that he wanted to run as president? Yes. He, he ran during the 2020 election. I swear, if he runs again... <laughs> I highly doubt he will. It would be funny, though. Besides, considering events that have transpired since then, 
with Kanye. I don't. I don't think anyone wants that. I need. Wait. New things happen with Kanye now. Well, not super new, but. But like, all of the like Kanye just coming out as a blatant neo German party member. Oh, that yeah. Canada, the one that is better than dump states. Another fetch. Yeah. This will be in a new year where everyone votes Mickey now. Wait, I know who she put in office. We should put Chu in office. Oh yeah, now I can say I love to suck dicks now. Oh yeah, the no horny. It only lasts ten minutes. <laughs> Choose my humble opinion. Be present. <laughs> Does Chu actually want to be president? <laughs> Wait, wasn't there a president who got stuck in a bathtub? I think that was Garfield. I have no pride. I hate this country. <laughs> Should I be present? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Country would lynch me at first chance they got. How much lasagna? We've had Trudeau a prime minister since 2015. Oh, yeah. Who's Trudeau? Or Trudeau, or whatever, whatever F his the, name is. The, the prime minister in Canada. Oh. I don't care about Canada. Damn. <laughs> Sorry. Just gonna say that with Robin right here in chat. Jeez. Oh, is Robin Canadian? Yes! <laughs> They've mentioned that multiple times. I didn't know! <laughs> they were fucking singing a remix of the Canadian National Anthem in my chat a second ago. <laughs> Well, F you bright, says Robin. I only ha have a bad opinion of Canada because of of that stupid law, law or bill thing they passed, where if you're not can if your video isn't Canadian enough, it doesn't get pushed on YouTube in their country. That's a thing. Well, I mean, let it not be said any state is just, but still. Yeah. I, I just got mad about that because that kind of screwed over a lot of people. Yeah. Even YouTube, like, made a thing about it saying how awful it was. Like, they didn't want it. And the thing is, I didn't... S even though I said I don't care about Canada, doesn't mean I don't care about its people. <laughs> uh, 
That's, that's true. F can, that's not perfect, but also F you. Man, this wall is big. Bet Trump can never say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so I, I was literally counting down in my head how long it'd take for you to mention Trump <laughs> after saying something about a wall. It took about three seconds. <laughs> Just insult the French <laughs> like a true blood American. <laughs> oh yeah, you know how um, people say like the Simpsons show predicts things that happen in the future. Yeah. Did you know that um, South Park predicted that? Trump would m win and, and b try to build a wall that that was actually a couple episodes well actually no it was I one imagine... episode yeah sorry I was gonna say I imagine that that was like actually in response to the election no the episode that aired about the wall and a, a, a Canada president acts like Trump aired before Trump was elected. Oh, okay. Well, no, I mean, like, in response uh, to, like, the electoral run. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, to the election coming up. Yeah. Like, the thing that, at like, the thing that on a surface level makes The Simpsons seem more uh, impressive is the fact that they like commonly get things right like years in advance but oh, yeah. like the actual explanation is the fact that when you're the simpsons and you've done almost every idea imaginable you're going to end up predicting some things oh yeah there's <laughs> liter they literally did a standing ovation for a a german party member in government building and the years of insurance of insane colonialism enforced the indigenization was disgusting all countries are shit but in relation to the rest Canada is at least fucking trying <laughs> Wait, Robin, don't you have free health care in your country? Actually, yeah. U.S. is a shithole that doesn't try it, just sticks. It always it sticks and it will always stink. <laughs> Just cleaning. Yes, for universal health care, only thing you need to pay for is ambulances and casts, things like that. Hot take. We should have free health care. Well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, ain't gonna happen, though. Every quote-unquote first world nation has some amount of fucking, uh, free or universal health care system put in place 
except for the supposed greatest country in the world. Ice cold cake, actually, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which you 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 got that take from like you you just pulled that take straight out of your ice box. It is obvious. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the, the main reason I, I believe that won't happen, like, at all, is because I do believe politicians do get paid off by insurance companies in some way. Uh, oh, God damn it. Well, yeah. It's, it's not a matter of do believe, it's just a veritable fact. Yeah. This group cut me off when I was speaking, but at least he understood what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because they took. Because they too scared of communism to let people have health care and any level of rights and make homeless people's lives. Hell, instead of giving them homes. Yeah. 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 Honestly, there is one thing that does annoy the living crap out of me about insurance companies. Is that... I've talked about this before, I believe. Where... Basically... Uh... Let's... I went to... Get... I think... I forgot what it was, but it was like... Uh, some form of surgery in 2015 and I had to pay like 20 bucks of it uh, last year later because the insurance company didn't want to pay for it the billion some dollar corporation <laughs> wouldn't pay 20 bucks yeah Uh -huh. Yeah, like politicians can pay by all companies. Insurance companies are no exception. Yeah, though there was another time that a lot of people here know about because I had a subathon based on it, where I had to pay back a little over two grand because the insurance company didn't want to pay it back, and it was from. Yeah. I believe it was from like 2010. Uh, you you seriously waited this long to do that? Why? You know what? You know what? I I think. I I think I don't want to think about health insurance right now. Oh, that's fair. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Have you seen the new handicap accessible seating? That is just a cover for anti-homelessness homelessness seating. People in wheelchairs are like, we'll never use this, this is stupid. Oh yeah, I've seen that stuff pop up here and there, like, for years. Oh gee, yes. That bench is dumb. People in Canada wished that Canada would leave the monarchy when the Queen died and became a republic, which Honestly, it would have been far better than what happened. Yeah. Oh, Canada is still owned by Britain? Yeah, Canada is still in the Commonwealth. Huh. If I remember correctly. And also, um, a very, uh, oh, what was I gonna say? Right, uh, uh, for the bench thing, it just makes me think of the fact that, like, um, some government officials in, uh, I want to say Miami, Florida, were, like, super proud and going on in the media 
about how they helped fund a statue of uh, Jesus laying on a bench because Jesus was homeless uh, in 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 Miami, where it is literally illegal for people to lay on and sleep on benches. That's stupid. It's like, like genuinely, the fact, that, like, uh, like talking about that Christian hypocrisy thing we were talking about earlier is like. You would think, you would think, that the int the religion that was propped up and devoted to a deity who was ostensibly a fucking homeless man like a homeless wandering hippie mm -hmm. you would think that they would have you know at the very least some concern for the well-being of the homeless nope Ireland and Wales hate the royals with a burning fury Jesus has a right to be on a bench, but actual homeless people do not. Yeah, exactly. Like, we're gonna put the bronze Jesus on a bench. Bronze Jesus gets to sleep on the bench, but actual flesh and blood people? Nah. Bronze Jesus. <laughs> Wait. Wait, so it's an actual statue of Bronze Jesus in Florida. Like, he, it was a statue made out of bronze. I believe. I might be wrong, though. I feel like I remember it being made out of bronze or brass. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure... Like... Whenever... They tried making statues of Jesus or something else. Uh, God wasn't too happy about it. Or like, or Jesus wasn't too happy about it either. Okay. Teaching them I need land they would occupy would be pretty socialistic and live and let live. Yeah. I could be remembering wrong. Okay, so what were you saying? I was reading my chat, sorry. I was just saying I could be remembering the bronze thing wrong about the Bible, in the Bible. It has been a while oh, since I read I, it. I think, you, I think you're meaning like the uh, no worshiping to idols thing. Mm hmm. Which, like, I mean, yeah, arguably statues of Jesus could be flashed in that. You know, who gives a shit about what the Bible says if it doesn't fit with what I want to think about? Yeah. Not as if there's literally God-sponsored abortion in the Bible. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. God-sponsored abortion. Oh, my God, that needs to be a... Fr that needs to be, like, a protest saying. Like, for... Uh, pro-choice advocates <laughs> just say god-sponsored abortion <laughs> alright bookworm clip it and we'll send it to people to make it sh into t-shirts <laughs> back in 2013 okay so yeah maybe I'm misremembering what the statue was made of okay. yeah but um <laughs> Every time a pregnant woman dies, God conducts an, an abortion. Oh, God. Honestly, I would. That's a band name in the making. <laughs> yeah. This is just a sick band name. Yeah. Honestly, I would love to make that as a, a t shirt and just have, like. Jesus giving a thumbs up under the words God sponsored abortion. Got gotta feature the scripture. Yeah. Oh, uh, what is it? I I don't think it's I think it's Deuteronomy. No, it's in numbers. It's in numbers. Or it talks about it.
I mean, granted, the God-sponsored abortion of the Bible was uh, less than based because it was, you know, still entirely uh, dependent on the concept of the woman being property to her husband. But it's it's still God-sponsored abortion. Yeah. I would still absolutely love to have have that as a t-shirt and just have he's just smiling and with a thumbs up on it as well. Yeah. Number also, five, I think. Yeah. Also, I, I I got like the actual numbered height, but basically um it was said that even if if Jesus existed that um he would be a lot shorter than most people because of the height yeah. that was in the past yeah the average height of uh people in that time or like uh men in that time would be like oh i want to say like lower five foot yeah like, G Jesus, Jesus would have been a short king. Yeah, that's what I realized. It's like, height getting bigger over the we years. Take wins where we can get them, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Brent. I said it's like height, Hiking. the average height getting bigger over the years. Yeah, the average height of humanity has, like, increased gradually over the course of our existence. I think it, uh... If I, I I don't remember exactly what's like theorized to be causing it, but a large part of it might be just gradually increased well-being, like more access to food, less starvation, less poverty, stuff like that. That like actually gives people gradually a better chance to literally grow up more. Though I could be very wrong. Does that mean at a, like a, at a certain time we're going to be able to grow so tall that gravity is going to start affecting affecting us in a bad way? I highly doubt that. That would... Uh, things like that would likely uh, not become super common because, like... Uh, even natural selection would uh, avoid things that make it actively more detrimental to try to survive. Evolutionarily, we started tall as fuck, got short as fuck, then we're getting tall again now. Some early homo whatevers were like eight feet tall. E. I actually didn't yeah. know that much. No. Yeah. I mean, I know there was someone from when Korea they... who was like seven foot something. Oh no. Oh no, Robin's Robin quoted a verse from the Bible. Oh no. When men, when men strive together and hit a pregnant woman, so that her children come out. But there is no harm. The one who hit her shall surely be fined, as the woman's husband should impose on him that he shall pay as the judges determine. So it's, 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 that is a wild statement. What did I just read? Exodus 21, oh, yeah. Exodus chapter 21. 22 to, through 25. Either way, like, the, the first part of that statement is just wild, but the point being that the, uh, it's, it's very clearly treating women as the property of their husband. Hmm. That is apparently a pro-abortion verse. I guess I could kind of see it, but... I mean, honestly, that one just felt like such a clusterfuck of information. Yeah. I, 
I'm the property of Rice Train. <laughs> uh, I'm the property of myself. I'm the property of my cats. They own me. I cannot escape from them. That's actually... Even though there's none of them with me right now. Yeah, that's actually something I've been uh, thinking about recently. Like, you know how I, I, I'm interested into men and all that? Like, back then when I was thinking about it? But to more, uh, I'm not so sure I'm interested in men much anymore. Sorry, you got cut off there. I, I, I was basically... I was basically saying in the past, I was thinking, but I was basically believing that I was interested in men and all that, and stuff like that. But right now, I'm not sure if I'm interested in men anymore. Because of the con- like, do you mean like facetiously because of the conversation, or like genuinely? It generally, because I don't like see myself, like, attracted to men in any way. Romantic or sexual. I mean, it wouldn't be sexual because I'm, I'm ace. But you know what I mean. Oh yeah, with your whole brand of ace. But yeah, I mean, that's valid. A lot of people's sexuality alters and gradually changes over time. That's fine. So I guess I'm no longer bi-romantic. Yeah. We up and change our labels as we find them uh... <laughs> and Bookworm clipped it. Unsuitable for our current selves. <laughs> Bookworm clipped the cut sponsor oh, no. portion. <laughs> That's gonna be oh, a YouTube no. short. That's gonna be a YouTube short. <laughs> okay, it, it was on your channel, right? Okay, I, I'm <laughs> yes. more fine with it being on your channel than on mine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's on mine. <laughs> I don't want that immortalized on my channel. <laughs> There were also a lot of different pre-human species, such as uh, pygmy people that were uh, three-something. I can't remember if it was Homo sapien or something else, an evolutionary family that was eight feet tall. Um, I don't know, you might be thinking of Gigantopithecus? I, n I know about Gigantopithecus, but they were most certainly not in the human. In, in the hominid group. They were interesting, though. But since she doesn't like men anymore, it's a cool AF trans fan lesbian. <laughs> I suppose. Would, would you... Do you do you hold to that label, Bright? What? Or have you even thought about that? That thought about what? Ro Robin... Uh, Robin said, so since she doesn't like men anymore, she's a cool AF trans band lesbian. I mean, yeah. That's actually one thing. I don't, I, know, I barely talked about it, but I have been on dates of, as of late. And... Oh, really? Yeah, and only people I've dated were men. And I didn't, it was alright. But it, I didn't feel the same way as when I was dating women. Before I came out. Mm. So. Fair. That's probably why I put two two together. I don't really. Like men. As much. Yeah. Anymore. Yeah they are very tall. Gets all the credit. What do you mean gets all the credit? Wait what you? Gets the credit for what? <laughs> For the clip. Did, wait, did Shu actually clip it? Is that the first? Boy, I have trans. trans femme lesbians unite. <laughs> Says which. <laughs> no, because of this. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. 
Tyrant won't test that condensing force. Oh, that's right. Now, she put the contacts in the chat, but she had to read for the clip. Yeah. I think before I go to bed tonight, since I'm wired, um, I think I'll just, you know, upload some clips. Also, because I need to drink a bunch of water, because I had, like, two mixes of vodka in it. Now, granted, I don't... I put less than... Yeah, I put less than 50 milliliters of vodka in my drinks, so... And the other stuff I mix with it is not alcoholic so it's, it's not as, like, I'm dumping, say, like, 400 milliliters of vodka. But I still well, need to drink a lot of water. Huh? Like, listen, listen, listen. Yeah. Even with the whole Irish and nearly immune to alcohol thing, I'm still pretty sure that would fuck you up. Really? I feel fine. No, the the 400. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty... I mean, I might get, like, dizzy or whatever, but I haven't, I've never drank and drunk... You know what I mean. Duncan. I've never drunk and dunk and dunk and dunk and <laughs> I started speaking like an Irish person because instead of dr drank, they usually say drunken in Ireland in English. It's like a slang thing. Hi, Jim. <laughs> I let out my inner Irish without even trying. The attention for attention, says you. The only thing I hate about these outskirts is the f damn tiny areas. Yeah. Like, oh my god. Drunken is technically a word. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, I think in its supposed proper English use, it wouldn't be used like that. Well, the Irish don't, doesn't care. <laughs> we all we all got a little Irish in us. Yeah, I think so. I get a little Most Irish in me every night. Irish. Right. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go do a second tweet on Twitter. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Wait, a second tweet? Huh? No one responded to my tweet about creepypasta horror stories yet. Oh yeah, that. Okay. Oh god. There's tweets about, hey, you should join Rumble, or hey, you should join Kick. No, thank you. Rough. I'm pretty sure both are bad, right? Yeah. I forgot why Rumble is bad, but I know why Kick is bad. You know, if my boyfriend was here, I'd have a bit of whales in me. Damn it. Yeah, it looks like it looks like my viewer count sticking at four. Which I appreciate y'all. Mm-hmm. That should hopefully help my average viewer count stop declining. <laughs> I get misspelled biromantic. I forgot to put an N. Biromantic. 
or not M, birom, biromatic, biromatic. <laughs> you struggle to say it. God's. Yeah, kick is notorious for predators. Oh yeah, kick. Okay, I'm starting to remember. Yeah. God's if he was. Right night now, he would love that. Well, I'll probably be in like. But it'll probably be like 3 a.m. for him. Yeah, I think that's what it would be around. Over across the pond. I don't even know what Rumble is. And it profile. Right, what are you doing? And and should I be concerned about it? Mm. Right? Yeah. God damn it. What's your... She editing her info on Twitter? Oh, okay. I think we might have set off Robin into horny mode. Done. Me too, Percy. Alright. <laughs> Byromanic. Sounds like a Daft Punk song. <laughs> Uh, why does it feel like this thing's taking longer than the fucking robot? Because fuck you. Well, I was rude. <laughs> Do you expect me not to be rude? Well, I was uncalled for. You act as if I care. You act as if that's an excuse. <laughs> she has been pet. She wants to cause some mischief and mayhem. Oh yeah, I can cuss now. Fuck you. I don't even know what a Timbers is, but... What did Chew say? Chew says Chew wants to cause mischief and mayhem. Wait, that is definitely something to open Twitter to. <laughs> oh no, they saw porn. Uh, Honestly, I see porn sometimes, and sometimes I like it, but no one can tell I like it anymore because of Elon Musk's stupid decision. Honestly, I feel like of all, like, the general mistakes that have been made with Twitter, I feel like the privating of all likes has been, like, the most overblown. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think it's a good change, but I feel like a lot of people have acted like it's the absolute end of the world. Yeah. For Twitch. Twitch. Twitter. <laughs> when it's like... That's it, go ahead. Nah, nah, that's basically it. Go ahead. She says, why did I open Twitter to see an animation of Roxanne Wolf giving some he someone head? Because it sounds hot? I don't know. <laughs> Who's Roxanne Wolf? Uh, the wolf animatronic from Finance and Freddy's Security Breach. Oh, yeah. Then, yeah, that tracks. It's really bad for content creators that need those likes to help them. Well, I mean, like, likes are still, like, going to push through the algorithm, or do you mean, like, that, like, it goes through the likes of other creators to, like, figure out what they like? The worst and easily most useless change was the name. Oh, yeah, true. 
like no one called yeah the only people literally the only people who call twitter x that i've seen are the hardcore uh like either like strictly business use because like it's just formal or uh fucking like elon simps yeah yeah, also, Those are the only two groups that actually call it X. Yeah, also, I see Elon Musk, or whatever the fuck his Mux. name is. Elon Musk. I see Elon's tweet from time to time, and he's tweeted a couple times, Hey, what do you think? Should we change tw uh, Twitter's logo? Should we change Twitter's name? Everyone blasts Elon <laughs> with the original, yeah, either the original just... Twitter. The man just keeps fucking like I like at this point you gotta question if he's getting off on this with how much he gets fucking ratioed on his own fucking site. Yeah. He actually responded to one of the um new icons for the ad that someone drew. It's it's a Twitter logo but in X's colors. But the bird has a has a dick. <laughs> and he, and he wrote, and I quote, said, someone definitely took took time making this fabulous icon. <laughs> I think that's Streamer what he said. Streamers and content creators heavily use social media to put themselves out there. Since some people felt that Twitter blew requirement to be seen and now likes are private using social media as a method to propagate content is more difficult yeah i get you robin maybe that's just the thing maybe maybe it's just like i haven't actually seen like some people talk about those ramifications the main way that i see people talk about the like, likes being private change is literally just lamenting that they can't go and, like, confirm that certain people are liking certain things. Like, either being, like, fascist liking, uh, fascist stuff, or people, like, searching through people's mentions to, like, see what art that they find to be gross that other people like. Not mentions, likes. Like, that's the main thing I've seen people lament over, so, like, it's it seemed very inconsequential. Yeah. But if there's, like, other... If there's other, like, effects that I just didn't know about, then rip me. Yeah, there was also a funny comic that I saw where Elon says, like, yeah. alright, alright, we're letting uh, not safe work content onto our app. Make sure you push that out to, like, a worker. And then, a few moments later, Elon burst through the door saying, Alright, now we're gonna make all Flex private. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good comic, yeah. Yeah. And you know, that's the thing, like, real talk. Uh, if they're going to just outright, like, say that porn is officially, like, fully allowed on Twitter, why the fuck is the age restriction still so low? Oh god. Like if that's like if, if if it's the case that Twitter is now like officially like a safe haven for sexual content, uh that should feasibly mean that any reasonable uh like TOS policy would restrict minors from being able to access it or like officially access it. Oh but my that god. That hasn't changed to my knowledge. Oh my gosh, Hatchet. S people some uh, found some stuff in his likes. And I'm sure, sure she was referring to not safe work stuff. Well, yeah, like the, the, the main inciting incident that led to the likes being banned was people clowning 
on Elon for shit than his likes. Like, that was the main thing. Oh, oh. My viewers, it has gone to 2. F. Yes! Puppy. Oh my gosh! What are you I, doing? I hate these teeny little blocks! They are very annoying. I can't tell if this is more annoying or less annoying than the robot. You still have the screenshots of Gilmore Mask liking something I make. Eh. Wait, what? Oh, don't scare me like that! Damn it, Adobe, Adobe Creative what? Cloud. Like the, the exact sound it produces, exact sound OBS tells me my stream got disconnected. Uh, I literally thought it got disconnected. God damn it, hey. Creative Cloud. Cats. Kaichu. And I I'll just say this. P3DO con theory is as much of a theory as gravity is. No. I don't know what theory that is. It's basically pointing out that uh people who idealize like actual sexual abuse of minors and like actually engage in such sexual abuse are so statistically likely to be conservative that it is a fair assumption that when you see um and like simultaneously conservatives uh will like hard focus on saying we we need to protect the children it's 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 stuff like that my brain is not all here right now yeah sorry uh -oh. <laughs> chew face paws Why is Chew face palm? Because of what I said. Oh, okay. That's fair. Servers and police and Catholics. Oh my god. That's where I'm conflicted, because that's the thing, like, a lot of the Catholics that I know, and that, like, I have met, have been like some of the absolute best people I've ever met, but like the 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 organization as a whole is numbers. absolutely fucked. Oh, yeah, now I understand. <laughs> you, what? I read the numbers, not realizing you put numbers, so it wouldn't be the word. But I think Hatch understood immediately. Well, yeah. Sector zero zero spotlights. One of those damn. Oh, I found him. Took break too long. Oh, it's right underneath them. Ah. Uh. That one, I think the middle uh, one. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> yeah, base floor intersection. My turn, face palms. Right, so it's, yeah, so it's one of these. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Somewhere. Oh, you know what? Yep. Back in there. Yeah! Hey. We did it! Now let's go do the robot. Oh. 
<laughs> we don't have to, Hatchet. If you fit, if you don't feel up to it, we can. <laughs> uh. I don't know. I'm trying to decide. Viewer count dropped back down to two, so if it's gonna sit around there. It might be best for, like, in terms of analytics for me to get off, but also, again, I don't want to hard focus on such things so much. Why are you spraying me? You didn't notice how far away I sprayed you? Yeah, I, I, I saw. <laughs> One of the biggest things to look out for, as far as I know, like for Catholics, is specifically trad casts and just people who like over the top defend the Catholic Church as an organization. Oh, that's porn. To get off. Man, that's the thing. I don't know if I want to get off. I decided to. I don't know what if I want to stay on. Wait a minute. What? the fuck am I looking at? I am sending this picture to multiple people. What are you... What? <laughs> I, I... I cannot be the only one to curse with this. Let's see. Let's also send it to Momo. Even on the night here. Let me see. Let me check something real quick. I'll send it to Adurna too. I won't send it to Jerry because Jerry would not appreciate it. Oh, yeah, Chew's here. Just put an 18 plus chat. Okay, I guess I'll put it there. <laughs> well, I mean, Bookworm wasn't in here. It's, uh, it's just... Okay, it's saying it's back up to four views. All right, okay, let's check continue. the pornography in my good Minecraft server. Check in there. I don't... I don't know if I want to. What the fuck? <laughs> that was the second thing I saw on Twitter. Uh, okay, let's just continue. I can feel my sperm hitting the gritty in my ball. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Like, the, uh... The viewer count thing, like, within my OBS... See... to like update to uh like how many viewers I have mm -hmm. most of the time. Odd. Oh yep, here comes the airbuster. Says four. Yeah. Here comes the airbuster. Although, fair warning, I don't know if I will at some point have to take a second to step away to, uh, um, uh, listen to my mom on the phone or something about the situation. Right? Yeah. Sorry, I was looking at a funny thing about lesbian tax. 
Les oh, le wait, what? Lesbian tax or cats? Tax for saving the polar bears. I'll repost it. You can see it later. <laughs> Chooses what that robot do, though. Yeah, that's actually one thing, because of the whole no overtime thing, I also thought about doing a subathon, but at the same time, subathons just make me so f damn tired afterwards that I just don't want to do not more, more streams and stuff. Not, not to mention, uh, your, uh, computer probably not liking it. Yeah. That's why I decided to do the crowd control stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, maybe when I get my new computer, I can do a subathon. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's why that was an issue. Yeah, I was okay, Hatch. Yeah? I think my eyes are all right. So I just got a message from one of my porn artists. Fun. And yes, I like the art. <laughs> but in order to see the art, you have to go to Blue Twitch. Talking about the burning. Did I did I talk about my eyes hurting? You're getting too Not tired to remember what happened to Joseline. <laughs> Who the fuck is Joseline? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, not exactly. Explain, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I would explain, but you need to remember. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> what do you think is the best way to get someone to remember something? Telling them is to remember. A, acting like a. <laughs> is it A, to act like a fucking douche and tell them that you won't help them? Or B, tell them again so that they'll remember? The first one. No, no, it is not the first one. You fail. Asa, this is this is coming from you, Bray. <laughs> Shut up. Honestly, I think this one's gonna be a lot better than the other robot because this one's smaller. <laughs> yeah, and it feels like it has a lot fewer like really finicky details. No, oh, now it's saying my viewer counts back down to two. Rip. Honestly, even if I do a subathon again, I'm not even sure what type of subathon I, I would do. Because I don't want to always be the same thing. So 
to be like a horror game or or, or horror just all the time. This is gonna get boring or repetitive. In my opinion. I'm not following you, uh, Robin. That is kind of your branding, yeah. But that, I mean, I've done other p stuff like Pokemon. Did too. Sabaton? I did a Pokemon subathon, and that was fun. I, I still don't get the relevance. Yeah, but then again, even with my new computer, I'm not even sure if I want to do a Because, <laughs> like I, mean, I said, I, I get so exhausted afterwards. It's both physically and mentally draining. Gee, my phone sh just showed me the message you sent on Discord. <laughs> Seriously? Doom, I'm making a joke. Damn. You're brain dead tired. Oh, you oh, you're talk- Okay, now I get it. Finally! Do you know how long- Do you know how long it's been since I played the newer Doom? I haven't even played a single Doom game. But you should, they're pretty fun. I mean, I have Doom Eternal. Uh, not Doom Eternal, like the most recent Doom game. Yeah, Doom Eternal. Oh. <laughs> well, I have that then. Like, I bought it, and I think I played... Uh, wait, no, I actually played, like, I think 10 minutes of it. Then stopped, because I got... Because uh, I wanted to play something else. <laughs> that is the fate of so many of my games. Yeah. Oh, the most recent one is Doom Dark Ages. Oh, they made another Doom? Oh. I thought the most recent one was... Uh, Infernal. Huh. Well, Interesting. cool. Well, I don't have that one. <laughs> Was there something after this? Um. In the, uh, hold the on, Final I can check. Thing? Wait, no, I can't check. No. Wait, chat thing. Uh, yeah, I can't leave. I can't leave. But um. Look. Maybe. I can't remember. This it might be the last one. It does look like I'm stuck at two viewers right now. Yes, and it has a chainsaw shield that is literally you going to there. And then I'm massacring angels as far as I know. Oh, damn. <laughs> no, don't care about demons anymore. We're killing some angels. <laughs> She was just biting stuff with no resistance. And you act as if I care. Because you don't know, Chu. I could have a biting kink. I'm sorry. Evil angels. True. Trust me. Insanely evil. I see. Don't say it in some Brains me. What do you mean? Angels, demons, they play the same. What do you mean? I don't have a biting kink. Fuck you. Oh, wait, do I? <laughs> I don't fucking know. 
<laughs> Why are you asking me? <laughs> Fuck, <you> know that. <laughs> I feel like that needs to be clicked. <laughs> Like ha having a fighting kink wouldn't surprise me. Honestly, I just can't be surprised by Bright anymore. I need this book. Yeah, that's the one thing about my kinks is that I don't get a sexual thrill out of it. I just enjoy it. If you know what I mean by that. Yeah. Honestly, I. I feel glad like I'm like that a lot of the time too. That's one thing I like about you guys, because it, it's so easier to explain that than with other people when I try to explain how I don't feel sexual things at all. Yeah. But like, no, it's human nature. You're supposed to feel sexual. No. no. It's human nature. That's why we also artificially say that it's evil. Yeah. You can't not want sex, but you can't also have sex. You can't also want sex too much. Uh, you can't... Sex bad, but also you need sex. Sex. <laughs> We're incoherent. <laughs> yeah. The spinning things are annoying. Yeah, I remember those being a pain in the ass. I'm cleaning them. Okay. Whatever. Huh? Whatever the case is, I'm probably going to want to end stream at the end of this job. Okay, that's fair. The fact that there's, like, mm -hmm. a specific panel that is, like, oh, my brain. My brain. Huh. Oh, no. Don't Fox die. so up. Um, is very tired and needs to sleep. Just a little sleeping time as a treat. Funksy unksy needs to sleep. The sleep. fuck are you reading? Wired boyo. Just a little guy. Fuckso oxo umps needs his beady sleep. I am cringing. Look at him go. He yawn big because he skeegee. Neeb, neebs to playful asleep. Flow flow asleepy. Nini times good night. Touch. Have a good night, Robin. This is just what Robin does before he goes to bed. Yeah, this is this is what Robin does every every time. I cringed. Yes. I think that is the goal. Perhaps. I can't really tell. <laughs> You're too tired to care. That too. 
That's the thing, like, I shouldn't be tired, but I feel tired for some reason. I am sharing my narcolepsy. Well, fuck you, take it back. Sorry, once I give it away, it can't be taken away. It's like AIDS. Bruh. <laughs> Right. Get over here. <laughs> right. No, stop cleaning. Get over here. Where are you? Over here. Get over here. Get into the corner. Think about what you've done. <laughs> she brightens the source of Nikopsy container. Robin says sorry, but I can't help but give you a stroke reading Foxo EP copy pasta. Thanks, Robin. Nope, turn back around, back in the corner. Uh uh. Think about what you're done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The, the sounds of cleaning the dirt sounds so wrong. Don't say it. <laughs> sounds like raw sex. <laughs> hey, you did it. Do you need the corner again? <laughs> no. And back down to you. Just don't worry about it. Think about what you have done. Did she come out of the microwave? I I said what you've done, not you're done. Did I? I I'm pretty sure I said what you've done. I I said that right. Me? No, I said, like, what you've done, not what you're done. I'm confused. Anyway, night and night happen. Have a good night, Robin. Yeah, good night, Robin. Robin, chillin'. I'm squirting all over this robot's face. Shut the fuck up. Can someone please redeem the no horny redeem? <laughs> You're fucking redeemed punk, right? Look, I'm redeemed it. Yay, thank you, book. Oh, these fucking fingers. I had forgotten about the fingers. Why don't you let enjoy? Guess, right. No, I can't say that. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> let me guess. You're, you're trying to hold back saying something about fingering people. Something I want to say right now, too, but I can't. Yep, that's the point of that redeem. To give a momentary respite. Finally, I'm done spraying his damn head.
Festus. Get up here, you fuzzy ah. dumbass. What? I fell. Oh, no, nah, I was talking to Festus. Oh, wow, okay. What's up, buddy? Nothing. I was talking to Festus. And? And shut up. <laughs> Festus, who's my good lad? <laughs> Ow. You need your claws tempered. Speaking of claws, it's kind of one of the things that I kind of wish Buster would not jump on people as much is instead of him just pushing his paws on you then backing down in order to get down he claws his way down on you like a, like a damn cat he claws him that's that's what training's supposed to fix well it didn't he still does it Festus. Come on, I'm trying to clean his damn cannon. Where's the final spot? Jump on the spot. You're making, you're making it really hard to do this. What? I'm talking to Festus. Oh, god damn it. I literally said, Festus, you're making this really hard to deal with. I didn't hear that. I just heard you're making this really hard to deal with. <laughs> uh... Right? Yes. You're making this really hard to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Bomb flamethrower. Fancy. Wow. Ow, you're poking me. In the nipple? No, in my gut. Choose it. <laughs> yeah, the Horny Redeem wore off. Uh, I think. Maybe? I don't know. Did it wear off, Bookworm? Probably. <laughs> Back in a bit, gotta pee. Everyone bullet is sure while I'm gone. Fuck you. I was thinking you can check our time. Yay, I can be horny again. I <laughs> didn't give all my rights and sold the glove glove. Thanks for that redeem hatchet. What? Remember, give all my rights and sold the glove glove? Oh, right. Thanks for the redeem. The way you said that made me think you were saying that I redeemed it. 
I would never redeem that bullshit. You came up with it, though. No, I didn't. I gave you a suggestion as to what is wrong, and you did it anyway. <laughs> exactly. You gave me the idea. <laughs> Fucking fingers. Are you cleaning them fingers? Are you fingering them yeah. good? <laughs> I am not. Fingering the fingers. <laughs> Why not? Because what the fuck does that even mean? Hand holding. No, I'm not holding hands with it. You better not, because you have to, you have to get married before I can do anything. Hallowed. And your book where it says, OMG, same thought. <laughs> I think that would just be him only, which was, oh, only knows Lucy can do. Oh my god. Me and book where it's the same thought. You can get pregnant from hand holding. <laughs> Did you know that Hatchie you can get pregnant from hand holding? I'm gonna turn you into a sashimi. <laughs> Bookram also said that too. I'm going to not do that to Bookworm. Fuck you. <laughs> Wait. Would fucking a clone of yourself be illegal? Right. In case this isn't <laughs> obvious, to my knowledge, <laughs> there are no laws regarding the sexual contact with human clones of any kind. <laughs> because why the fuck would that be a law? When it's not even been done yet. <laughs> Why? Uh, also, le legality does not equal morality. Well, yes, that's obviously the case. So I can gangbang a bunch of my clones myself? Oh, no. What? I don't know. Oh, uh, you were lagging real bad. Oh. Did I get hurt at least? What? Did you hear me oh, at least? Oh, did you get hurt? Yeah. I thought you said, did I get hurt at least? I, I think I heard you well enough. Yeah. So yeah, I want to go game bangs on my clones. Finally.
Okay. Huh? Uh, I was just saying hi, because I passed you. Oh. Hi. That's what you said. You said hi. I see. I lowered the two cock cannons. Just out of curiosity, Hatchet. Huh? Have I ever made you feel regret? Have I ever made you feel like regret, like regret not joining the stream or something? Regret not joining a stream? No, joining a stream. Like, I regret joining your streams? Yes, or clabbing. That's what you're asking me? Yeah. I mean, occasionally. <laughs> I wonder if Booker's the same. I swear if I'll laugh if they say yes. Didn't hurt anything but Buckram yet. So everything's all good. I don't know, says Buck. No. <laughs> I could have given them regret. Sorry. Sorry, I'm so quiet right now. My head's nah. You're fine. Seeing how Bookham does it now, I have never given them regret. Oh no, I got a message from Moderna. Oh. <laughs> they said why. My response, hack book. Hack book. <laughs> the fuck is that supposed to mean? Exactly. I like, like I hacked you? <laughs> no, it's not spelled like that. It's H-A-C-H. Hack. 
then book. Right. Yeah. H A C H. Yeah. Spells hatch. Nah, it's, it spells hack. I guess there's no team. Whatever. I'm very tired for some reason. That's f that's honestly fair. I started cleaning the back of the hand, and then it led me to having cleaned the palm. What? Don't worry about it. Came back. This is her. Virginia Prince. See about it. This is her. Virginia Prince. Came back. Oh, there was a bot? Wait, there was a bot? Well, the reason was spam. Maybe they were human. Who knows? Who knows anymore? Who knows even if Bookworm's a bot or a human? We don't know. Bookworm could be the most sophisticated AI there is. We don't know. <laughs> I refuse to comment site. I may not be banned. <laughs> That's fair, but... What's the bite stuff? You're not allowed. Finally! All I'll, I'll say is dead internet theory. What the fuck's dead internet theory? I thought we've talked about that on stream before. Have we? I believe so. I don't remember. The idea that, like, if all humans vanished, the entire internet would just be uh, a conglomeration of bots interacting with each other. Oh. Write his bird memory, fuck off. Pretty sure most birds have a better memory than bro. I hate you. <laughs> Have you seen crows? Yeah, I kind of why you never want to piss one off. What? Hey, you never want to piss off a crow. Yeah, you never want to piss off a crow, yeah. <laughs> Actually, there was this one guy who kept pissing off this one group of crows, but... I uh, kept uh, making these other group of crows uh, uh, re really nice to them, treating them really nicely. So when the bad other group of crows tried to attack the guy, the good crows are treated nicely, attack the other crows. It was just a full out war between crows. Bruh. That's evil. Yeah, it is. <laughs> he, he started his villain arc. <laughs> Fuck. 
Not even started. That's just dead ass what Sidious did. <laughs> Who? Darth Sidious, the Emperor Palpatine. All right. Will you ever learn? Finally. All the cock cannons are done. Let them fight, says Jim. Chu was was in the fight to see who who's more dominant. I never did see who won though. Only the fact that it happened. Which competitor will win? Crow? Or another crow? <laughs> Wait, what? Doing that with crows be illegal? I mean, if it's legal, like, it's probably not, like, directly touched on. But it's still immoral. Because it may as well be fucking crow dog fighting. Yeah. Almost done. Yep. Oh, the sex sounds are back. The what? The sex sounds. The clean oh, the dirt. Sex it's not like you said the sex tones. <laughs> Gotta work. Watch out for those sex tones. <laughs> of course she didn't properly clean out the fucking beam one. I clean... Look, to I'm not clean cl good at cleaning ev everything else. Wait, what? I got kicked. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, my, my internet just took a dip. Chu says no sex allowed. Aaron, I'm just gonna say the code out loud. You ready? Uh, yeah. Okay, it's o four five seven seven six eight. It would be funny yeah. if I accidentally landed in someone else's game. <laughs> <laughs> It's clean enough. I'm gonna go home.
on shoulder beam launcher. Stop being dirty. Now. There we go. It stopped being dirty. Damn it. You failed. But I like being dirty. Not too bad. The shoulder beam launchers are not allowed to be dirty. I'm not having to constantly shake myself awake. I think we can stop. I don't wanna. Uh, Hatchet, don't pee at me. Too bad. I'm not finishing. I'm not stopping this until we're done with this job. Bookworm? What's Bookworm gonna do? Sleeping gas. Why the fuck would Bookworm get that? They secretly work at the CIA. <laughs> yeah, and you just so happen to be privy to that information. Yeah, sure. <laughs> of course, I'm Bookworm's boss. <laughs> Listen, I can buy Bookworm being more than he would appear. I might even buy... <laughs> Uh, I might even buy, uh, Bookworm being in the CIA. I'm not going to buy the CIA putting a trans woman with your track record into a position of power. Why not? Because it's the CIA. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. I mean, I may have broken I... some things from Geneva Convention, but other than that, I'm fine. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Maybe I should just go to bed. <laughs> Finally. God. Maybe I should just go to bed right now. Just take my headset off and... The stream will just be me sitting here, sleeping. I mean, there are streams like that. Yes, I know. Then I would hope you were doing well and taking them down with me. What if she was secretly see me? No. Oh, I've got a call. Give me a sec. Well, if you're bored, Chew, do something else to entertain yourself. My hand, don't worry, Chew. You, you can't bite my hand if it's torn off.
I mean, a minute is not working. No shit. Hopefully, Ash is okay. I'm accidentally cleaning shit, even though I'm not trying to. Yeah, I thought I actually was trying. Okay. Mac? I am back. Yeah. Um. Apparently it was some kind of bowel obstruction from an old procedure. Yeah. And my dad's now going to have to, um, likely have to go into the city to get surgery. Well, at least they found out what's wrong. Mm. He, he should be all right, but it's just, uh... Large part of the issue is the fact that he's like the breadwinner of the family. Ah. Uh. So, we don't exactly know what we're going to do with Dad having to recover from the surgery. Have like a bit of gold we can probably cash in, but, uh, gosh, finally I got this damn shoulder guard. Such a pain in the ass. Tank Buster Piper. Tank Buster Vent. It's 
sorry, my phone died. Oh, okay. Hey, glitch. Hey, Festus. He's my good lad. Yeah, any to you two, Witching Gar, any time y'all can stop by streams it is very much appreciated with my current grind. It's like if you two are both watching, that's that's two out of the three people I need. Again, like, I'm, I fucking hate how fixated I have, like, I am on viewer rates with my streaming because of the, the affiliate thing, when, like, I don't want to be thinking about stuff like that. That's fair. I, I just, I just want to play games and have fun. I was having internet problems. Oh my god. When I'm done with this. Assuming I don't just pass out, I'm probably going to play a new Skyrim character I made earlier this morning. Have you thought about doing a Venmo account or something that you can use until you get affiliate? Eh. I haven't really thought about that. Or Kofi. Yeah, yeah I, ha I haven't thought about that just because, like, literally that hasn't come to mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kofi's nice. I have one myself. Kofi. -fi. You know, I barely use it. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. I definitely support when I can. That'd be appreciated. Yeah, it's just that desire to get that like consistent income. Uh, like I've just been so focused on trying to get my viewer rate up. As a result, I have no money. <laughs> it's fine. That's the thing. Like a part of it isn't just like to get consistent income a part of it is literally just wanting to reach the goal of getting affiliate with all of the perks of affiliate you trying to get the lower waist back plate no, the waist up a ring. Oh. oh wait, it fixed. Uh. Wait, it says ninety nine percent. But it's, it shows it's completed on my screen. What? Oh, now I'm back up to four viewers. Nice. Right, I'm I'm guessing the four viewers are Book, Bright, Gar, and Witch. 
Possibly. Honestly, I'd have your stream open if I uh, was more confident in my computer's ability to not shit the bed. Or rather, my stream quality to not shit the bed. Okay, so let's go. Big bomber cannon cover hinges. What is the big bomber cannon? Is it this thing? That's the tank buster. This thing? Finally! Oh, yeah, okay. See, it says waste the marine, but when you look at it, it says complete. No, it doesn't. On my screen, it shows it's complete. The waist upper ring? Yeah, it's, it doesn't show any white on the bar. That's... that's odd. So that means I can't get it. For some reason, it's showing as done. Well, either way, the big bomber cannon hinges thing is here. Ah. Somewhere there. Where's the goddamn hinge? Here, step off. Uh, be constantly pressing your tab button, looking for dirt as I close this. Oh, wait. I see it. Oh, you did? Yeah, Where you just it? covered it. Oh, motherfucker. Hell yeah! Yeah! Hey! No wonder why you couldn't see it, because it was completely covered. Well, almost completely covered. Yeah. Oh. Let's see, continue. Is there... Yeah, I... yeah that's the... That's it. It's completed. Yay! Yay! We did it. Is, my, my Midgar is done. Actually, it's kind of surprising. We were able to do this all on one stream, but when I, we when I had to do it, we had to do multiple streams. Yeah, though, like, at that time, I was still really new to the game. Yeah. And wasn't as present. I have no That's doubt nice. we have to do Tomb Raider in multiple streams, though. Oh, yeah, Tomb Raider. We had to, like, I think Tomb Raider we did, like, in three different streams. Yeah, we're probably going to do the same thing again in yours. Maybe. Maybe. But. Brian's been um... banished from the chat. Mine now? Fuck off. Oh, God. Uh. 
Well, th thank you, everyone, Mommy, and for watching and hanging. It's <laughs> very much appreciated. Um, I need to give my head a break. Good night from us both. Ye. Thank you. I need to give my head a break and deal with my brain with what's going on but uh thank you everyone for support for watching me yeah. kind words and uh have a very good night everyone on my end much love okay stream on my end is done yeah also fuck run fuck off this is not choose second channel you ain't no vtuber Yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, Fulcrum last words go. Because, yeah, there's no one I want to raid. You should raid Saribot. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that stream was five hours? Twenty one minutes. Didn't feel that long. Average viewers that time was 2.3. Fire yeah, Red Emblem asked me the previous like, stream. Comment, subscribe, and follow Bright for uh, more chill streams and loaf takeovers. Give her money if you can to help support her in her rectifying her bad Virginia education. Ah, Fire Red Emblem, how delightfully philanthropic of you. Encouraging everyone to like, comment, subscribe, and follow. Truly, the hallmarks of 21st century patronage. And why not send some money, too? We all know the Virginia education system needs rectifying. Next week, we're studying rocket science for kindergartners. <laughs> Jarvis says that the Virginia education needs... <laughs> Is in need of some rectifying and <laughs> need funding for rocket science for kindergartners. <laughs> um, oh I guess my sub to you went ran out. Rip. Bam. Also, uh, hatchet. Any last words? Mm -hmm. Uh, when in Rome. Um, kill Caesar. Oh. oh. Was I supposed to say anything else? What's wrong? Nope. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, Danger Noodles, I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna see you guys next time for your next mission. And, uh... I suck lesbian dicks. <laughs>